Hello and welcome back to DR Sports for another edition of the Saturday Football Show with myself, AGT. We've got Matisse to the left of me. Big up Big to up you, burn. sir. Big up, And on my right, I'm very well, thank you. And on my right, we've got my guy, Fuad, as always, repping, giving that firm spud as well. As always, um, come on. Make sure Militant. you like the episode. Today is an FA Cup special. So I want to be knowing in the comments now and from you guys, mm. some of your favourite FA Cup memories ever. The biggest upsets. We're going yep. to continue this theme throughout the show. Hold them because I know your mind is bubbling away now. <laughs> um, Man City, Arsenal, we're going to talk about that result last night as well. And of course, the three o'clock games today in the FA Cup. Fulham versus Sunderland. Ipswich versus Burnley. Sheffield Wednesday versus Fleetwood Town. And Southampton versus my old mate, Mick McCarthy at Blackpool. Mm. Um, big up to all the people playing and going to those games today. The magic of the cup. Yes. What's your relationship like with the FA Cup? Um, it's definitely right now recently dodge um very fugazi obviously I'm i wouldn't use that word why not because we beat you fair and square in the fa cup yeah. final <laughs> it was the league cup final there was a okay yeah, of yeah the Lukaku decisions. offside yeah. yeah i mean not happy memories recently because obviously back to back to back defeats against leicester against mm. arsenal and against you guys so three fa cup final defeats in a row so it is peak very peak, very peak. um but then obviously i can go back to like drogba and the wins against united um, and Everton and, you know, Lampard with the screamers. But then also some, some shocks like a Barnsley away defeat as well. Um, so, yeah. and obviously we're out already. This, 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 Who did you go out to? Uh, Man, City. Man City. So respectable. Yeah. Um, twice. They, they knocked us out both competitions, you know, leaving, leaving nothing on the table. And then obviously they knocked out Arsenal on, um, on Friday. So, yeah, um, mixed relationship with the FA Cup. But I respect it massively. And I've always kind of stuck up for oldest cup competition yeah world. stuck up for the heritage and i feel like people sometimes have overlooked it disrespected it discarded it but i think we're seeing now like with Man united fans especially with the carabao cup like when you don't win anything for a while you really start to get excited again by the, take by the smaller trophies yeah yeah um you say smaller trophies fuad uh, um matisse and mm. fuad i'm asking you now why do people give the FA Cup maybe a little bit of a discredit when it is the oldest cup competition. We have seen so many upsets, mm -hmm. so many different winners. Um, even Klopp in the week has said he doesn't think the FA Cup deserves its own game week mm -hmm. um, because of the fixtures, uh, the pile-up, etc. So what, what do you think about what Matisse and Klopp have said? I kind of agree with I didn't it to say an that. extent. <laughs> you said it was a, the smaller no, cup. No, no, Carabao Cup. Yeah. Oh, this, sorry. This is major. Right. This is major. Okay, yeah. major honour. <laughs> I'm not sure we'll clock, I then. agree <laughs> to the same extent. I, I kind of more agree with Klopp to be per se because I think because it's the oldest cup, we give it that kind yeah. of recognition and prestige in England, especially, mm. I would say. But really and truly, let's be honest, it's the domestic cup. And it's the as domestic it, cup. It's the yeah. domestic cup, but... It's a domestic cup at the end of the day, just like the Copa del Rey, just like the Italian cup, just like the French cup, just like the German cup. So I don't see why it should have any more major on it, if that makes sense. Like if you win the French cup, it's not a major honor. If you win the German cup, it's not a major honor. So why should the FA cup be deemed as a major honor? We're giving it that kind of prestige and look purely because of the that. history. No, but because of the history, anytime there's history in something, it's like anytime you have a business and you hear it's been open for 150 years, you're a bit more like, you know what you're doing. So it's a bit like the FA Cup gets that prestige, but at the same time, it is the domestic cup, which is why I always argue when we talk about major honours and I'm not saying it's a minor honour, but it's not a major honour in my opinion. Really? But that's what but I would say. Do you, I don't the major honours you, you look at as champ World Cup, Champions League, the league. But those are major honours in my opinion. The, the a Euros, major honour. But you do, do, you, honor. do you put the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup on the same level? Because if you're talking about Copa del Rey's and German I would Cups, say they, I, for I throw me, the Carabao Cup into that. Cups. Other cups, basically. I look at major honours and then there's other cups. Major honours, you know what a major honour is. Players dream of those cups, the major honours. They, I think an like, FA Cup should, should be a dream. Everyone dreams was of playing dream. in the it FA Cup you telling, me, you telling me Ivan Tony sleeps up, stays up at I night think he would be delighted with an FA Cup. I, it's I really a generational thing, though. It's a generational oh, thing. It you're, changing, yeah. you're changing it there. To be delighted with it is different. Anybody would be happy with it. Anybody would be delighted. As a Spurs fan, I will, we would have a parade for it. I'm not joking. Of course you would. But at the same time, it's not a major honour. If Spurs won the FA Cup, we're not going to start saying Spurs are a major club now or one of the major players in England. Let's be honest. Mm. We'll are we? The item are we? Comments. If Spurs win the FA Cup, we're going to start saying they're major players in England now. No, no, that's no, because that's that's exactly. That's but that's but if you win a major trophy, that's what it does. Perfect example, Chelsea. 
they won that Champions League and what did you lot say? It papered over the cracks, some yeah. Chelsea fans will yeah, say, that, right? that, But for that six month, eight month period, you could beat your chest like you was one of the big boys at the table, right? Am I right, Matisse? Yeah, that is, you, uh, yeah. And that's what the Major Honours do. Trophy. World Cup, Euros, Champions League, League title. Those four there, for me, hold their own different yeah. weight compared to every But I wouldn't trophy. put the FA Cup on the same level as a Carabao Cup. So there's different to levels say, to, to minor same or, levels, or To yeah, say there's, same there's levels, levels, I get it. it. But it's definitely not a major... I'm going to call it a medium. A medium honour. We can start making new categories See, if we like. But that, but that new category, again, is being created purely because it's the history and the heritage of the FA Cup. If I tell you now, does the French Cup deserve that same medium category? What would you say? Yeah. You would say the French Cup deserves... Yeah, the cup of any country lying. is... Bro, I'm not lying. You ask all these football players, maybe not necessarily this generation, but mm -hmm. if you ask the Gerrards, the, the Lampards, the Terrys, they grew up wanting to play in and win the FA Cup. It was a, dr it was a dream of theirs. And like we said, been around for the longest time. I think it deserves a little bit more respect. I think, I'm I honest. think it's I the FA Cup in the Europa League. Saying, like saying that it's, but saying that it's not a major honour is not a disrespect to it, in my opinion. It's just calling it what it is. So, so you wouldn't class the Europa League as a major honour? No, but I'm yes, not. But I'm not putting. I wouldn't. But I'm not putting the Europa League on the same level so as for Seville, the Carabao Cup. So there's levels to this. So of that's course. why I think it needs to be levels. major, minor, and medium. Medium. I can I can hear the medium. You hear the medium now. I can hear, I can, when you mention like Europa League, <laughs> even Conference League, what do you class that as? That's, that's a minor. That's a minor, isn't it? right? Yeah, you see? <laughs> so technically, it's but it's a European it's trophy. Right. So it's <laughs> about minor, major. But technically, the terminology is. I think Liverpool the, the, pro the problem people have is honors. the word minor. When mm. they hear minor attached to the FA Cup, people are like, it's not minor. It can't be though. I agree. It can't be minor. I can't. Uh, you lot are having an issue with the word minor, but really, truly, it's not a major honour. That's that's my only case. Is all I'm saying. Well, let's the see FA what Cup. the comments think about this. I'd love because to hear it. it. Is, uh, divisive. I know they'll be saying. Anything. Anything. I'm talking about major honours. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be fair, few ads is objective you, because Spurs money. don't win any, anything. <laughs> that's yeah. your banker. Um, so basically, the Cop TV uh, MAH Magpie channel is like the FA Cup. So DR Sports is the Premier League title of football channels. Yeah, you could say that. I like yeah. that. It is a I major like channel. I want to sure. be a me medium. Do you know what? <laughs> big up to DR Sports as well. 250k um, hey. subscribers just big up everyone this week. in the building. So big shout out to everyone involved and thank you guys for making it happen for as well. Uh, MRX says for club level, it goes UCL, League, and then other cups in that order. Um, he gets let's be real though. The Audi Cup is bigger than the Champions League and the Premier League title. <laughs> like I, sometimes you know I can't you know finish these sentences there's, about there's, smiling there's about the Tottenham <laughs> trophies. I'm sorry. Um, the French got rid of their League Cup, apparently, says That's Ant. the League Cup, and we're the only... That's another good case. We, so we're we the only country Should we get rid of Europe. It? Like, really? German have gotten rid of their League Cup, I think, in 2005. French have gotten rid of their League Cup. Spain and... When did Spain do it? Spain though? didn't even have one. Spain mm. so they just had, the had Copa, Copa del, del Rey. Rey. They just had it. the Copa del yeah. Rey. No, Copa de España. No, like no, 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 no. <laughs> Copa de la Liga. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. I remember the French used to have Coupe de la Liga, but they got rid of that Coupe de France? Coupe de France. Coupe de France. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Big up to DR Sports. Amazing content. Like that, yeah. uh, I think that Brighton will take a huge fee for Caicedo to leave. Um, no, but the issue is with reinforcements, which they were required to bolster their position, Comedy Gunners. We will speak about Caicedo last night. Um, AGC Klopp doesn't really care, says Ali A. The FA Cup is not a major honour, says Dennis the Great with the Real Madrid flag on, on his uh, profile that's, there. So. See, that's a man who knows the difference between majors and minors. Dennis mm. the Great. Yeah, there you Real go. Real Madrid. AGT, your manager Klopp doesn't really care about the domestics. Well, we've won the last two last year, so I wouldn't disagree with that. I mean, I, I would disagree with that, sorry. Um, Those were his first two though, weren't they? You've been there for seven Correct, years. yeah. Cheers. <laughs> no, well, listen. Um, how did you get on in that game? I'm just, hey, I'm just, play, I'm just reminding you, Matisse you know. In, 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 in both, in both <laughs> domestic finals, by let's the not way. Pretend, in both let's not, domestic let's not pretend for six them. years he wasn't disrespecting them competitions <laughs> and then he realised, oh shit, I need to complete the set. Yeah. Let me go and pick up some cups real quick no. in my seventh year. Against you, so it was so <laughs> sweet. I'll always remember that video of you filming yourself watching the penalties <laughs> in the ground. <laughs> yeah. That was so beautiful world. to watch, man. You said, and I quote, if Kepin misses this, I'm walking out. And, then, and boy, did he then miss he, it. Then he misses it. Big time. Uh, he actually got a clap from the, uh, from the cop when he came in to defend the cop goal last week. 
It's oh, a really? tradition at Anfield, like when the opposition keeper comes to defend the cop, like we clap them and they oh, clap really? us. Oh, yeah, really? Okay, wow, well, I didn't know that. Fair really? Respect. Not that Chelsea high. would know about that stuff, but yeah, yeah, uh, there you go. Um, <laughs> right, we'll, we'll carry on talking <laughs> about the FA Cup. Ahmed says, nah, the FA Cup means a lot to English football. Oldest cup competition, it means a lot to smaller clubs and brings a top and bottom division together, football heritage, and deserves its respect. You see, says what's Ahmed. the key words he said there? Heritage, English football. R- go outside and of old. that scope. Go outside of that scope. No, nobody in, outside in England, England nobody outside England looks at the FA Cup any more than a domestic cup, basically. As Perez well. so says, I think because uh, we've got two, we've got to rank one above the other. No, that's it's the other league, thing. It as is well. League Cup, and then it's Community Shield below the League Cup. Yeah, yeah. Well. Community Shield, I don't even count. Um, no, no, no. Well, some people have it down as a major honour, but that's another what? talking point. If we had talking about trophies, shouldn't <laughs> Matisse and AGT be talking about them? <laughs> <laughs> that is, this is literally the closest you've been to trophies for like. Who me? 15, you mean, listen, I've won years? a trophy at my ground before my club, you know. What was Who? it called? Uh, they, didn't, uh, they called it the, the <laughs> night friendly cup for the day, you know what I'm saying? But it don't matter, I won silverware at the lane before the players. <laughs> so my IG, go follow me up. <laughs> Exodus says the FA Cup is an achievement because the onus is on the larger clubs to perform even when they face smaller clubs. For the smaller clubs, it's a win-win, but larger clubs face ridicule. And this is why today we really want to tap into this FA Cup chat and find out from you what is your favourite FA Cup moment keep them coming throughout the show what is your biggest upset you've enjoyed the most uh, whilst you you are sending in your comments someone mentioned um, Chelsea losing to Bradford 4-2 at home that's a big one I think very big league, league two John Stead I think he scored think for so. Bla- uh, Bradford I, I that day I try not to, to delve too much into it obviously you have your Colchester one who had uh no, that was the that was the League Cup. Oh, actually. was it? Yeah, that was a oh. League Cup. I remember. I think it was two seasons ago. Yeah. We've had Middlesbrough last year. I remember an extra time. We had Everton. Do you remember Carlo Carlo Ancelotti sipping his soup? The mm, infamous. That's not meme. like a big big. Um, to, if you saw that game, not a massive if you scout, saw that though, game and the way we capitulated in the second half, Davinson Sanchez. I remember those were the types of games where my hairline receded a good, a good few inches. It used to be down here. I'm telling you. But um, yeah, I remember Norwich on penalties, Tim Ooh. Krul yeah, Supreme yeah, yeah. as well. Todd, Todd, Todd We've had a couple well. of embarrassments over the years, man. But yeah. yeah, and then a couple of semi-finals I remember, of course, mm. versus your boys and United. Yes. Obviously it didn't go so well. Yes. But, uh, yeah, FA Cup to me, in all honesty, as a Spurs fan, hasn't been... A cup. It's always been one of those cups every year. Everyone looks, oh, you should challenge for us. This is an opportunity for you to win some yeah, 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 yeah. Every single season we will look at it. But then... It's always something just happens. We either we'll get to a semi final and just not get over that final hurdle, or just have like some kind of hall of shame performance in the fourth or fifth yeah. round. So it's, uh, I mean, I've been because there are so many rounds now. though in the FA Cup. You've got third, fourth, fifth. Is there a sixth or does it there's go from fifth it, there's to six? But there's also qualifier rounds. Exactly. So Way it starts. It starts in August, I think, the qualifying round. So now we're in, you know, the January. End of yeah, Jan. We only talk about it from January, but it's actually from been third round from, onwards from, from the beginning. It's been going for ages, but. I feel like the FA Cup is one of those trophies that you'll always want to win it because it's I mean, a piece of silverware, semif- but you also do have to give it the, the history and respect it. Yeah, yeah. we've had four semi-finals, I think, since 2010. So, four. Got to, yeah, lost to one Portsmouth 0 9 10. Of course, that was Ooh. the one they went on to win. It was. You always think that yeah, was... that was your year. Could that been you the one, do you know then. what I mean? Um, and then two against Chelsea in 16, 17, 11, 12 as well. But I think Chelsea have always been that side that time. They had peak in Drogba as well. I think I we beat you with our B team one time. Yeah. yeah. Wouldn't surprise me, to be fair. And the I think 20, 2016 one was the one, I think. Do you remember Jermaine Genus talking about, yeah, but we dominated them. Yeah, it's salty. And then, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that one. I think Lampard turned Matic's around to him and said, yeah, just corner, said... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but that don't win games, mate. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. He showed that day that he like, couldn't he couldn't handle yeah. being, you know. Yeah. And that was like that was probably like Pochettino's side peaking. Yeah. I would say when we faced them yeah, in that semi final day was. I very felt strong. like that was probably our best side to win a cup. And if we did win a cup that year, it would have been kind of like a nice icing on the cake. But do you know what? We've got a, a very been good memories for us. <laughs> very good super chat from Sai, who he says, the FA Cup is a major cup. It's been watered down because of the financial rewards. Attach the Champions League entry to it and you'll see all clubs fighting for it. That's a good point. But that's the problem. The fact that you have to attach a Champions League entry to it tells you what's the bigger ticket. Mm. Oh, you're going to dangle an, an entry into the bigger tournament with this one. You've already, you've already, you, you have already damned the FA Cup to a lower standard, in my opinion, with that. Is it still true that you get Europa League if you win the League Cup? 
Am I right in saying that? Yes, I believe so. I, I, or, or conference league. Yeah, you get if your own. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Europe, oh, yeah. Is it Europe yeah. League or conference league? So when, Europe, so Europe, when Wigan won it, they were in the Europa League, right? Europa League. When Wigan? Yeah, when I they beat City so, in 2013. Yeah. I don't know if that came into it at that point. Can we look that up? Um, I feel see. like Wigan, Wigan might have had... Yeah, because yeah. they were relegated that same year they won the FA Cup. I don't know if they counted back then. It was also like, yeah, I, I think if you're not in the same division, you, uh, that's a bit backwards. I'm not sure. I feel like no, if you won it, I think, it, I think regardless it. of whether you've been relegated or not, you will get that prize. Yeah, they actually did. They were fourth in Group D. Fourth in Group D? Yeah, Group D. in the group? Uh, let me have a <laughs> look. Mad. Let me have Do a remember look. Remember Portsmouth had AC Milan at Pratt the, Park mm-hmm. after winning it? Ronaldinho. There you go. That, not, that wasn't a friendly. Yeah, so they were oh, in the same group. Two in the Europa League. Oh. They were in the same group as Ruben Kazan, Maribor, and Zolte Varagem. And at six games, they won one, lost oh. three, drew two. It's not great, Bottom of the group, it? mate. Bottom of the group. Yeah, but Championship like that, side, That though. European campaign isn't spoken about enough. You know what I mean? Not that not. it was It shouldn't great. be, to be fair. No. <laughs> <laughs> but at it's least like acknowledged. Talking, it's like talking about Everton's European yeah. campaign. That time they finished fourth. Barely. So, yeah. Villarreal crashed. Oh, did they come out of the qualifying round, didn't they? No, they finished no. fourth. Fourth, fourth in the group. They, they finished, finished fourth, fourth but, got, but fourth place got you the, before the Champions League. But because they won it, they got told you need to play the qualifier round versus Villarreal. And that was Villarreal going through with... They just signed yeah, yeah, Raquel yeah. May. Marcos Senna was coming through. They were just becoming the Villarreal side of that semi-final team. Washed him. Well, Quick no, no, listen. Yeah. Everton fans still talk about that game today because it was Pierluigi Colina was the ref in the away game. So yeah. in those days, if you were third and fourth, you had to do qualifiers. First and second straight Automatic, in the group stages. Yeah. But who maybe Arsenal finished third that year or something. But Everton, like you say, went to Villarreal. They had a goal disallowed. I think Tim Cahill scored and there was nothing wrong with it. And then he gave a dodgy penalty and Everton fans since that day have hated Pierre Luigi Colina. But yeah, you're right. Um, we went in and, and they didn't, unfortunately. Mm. Also, I was, I was just looking By the way, at- we've seen a goal already. Oh. The first goal today in the FA Cup, Sunderland through Jack Clark. I've got one new up away at Fulham. What a result that would be for Sunderland. Uh, looking to get back in the, the big time as well, they are. But they are one new up away at Fulham. That is a long journey as well, Matisse, for it those is, fans. Yeah, it's, um, I'd like to see Sunderland back in the Prem, to be honest. I would. Now that Newcastle are on their high time, yeah. I'd love to see Sunderland come back in and try and rough them up again. A humbler. Yeah, football is a humbler for sure. <laughs> um, I was just looking at, actually, as well, the, the FA Cup and like the, the amount of rounds there are. Yeah. 14 rounds, apparently. Wow. Um, and the, prelim- the prelim- preliminary round starts um, on the 29th of August. That's the match yeah. day. Um, 160 matches in that round. Um, that is basically most of the football teams in the country, yeah. just top to bottom. Yeah, the lowest place remaining clubs, 30 clubs from the 10th tier of English tenth football tier. made it through to this stage. So <laughs> I don't know what happens before that to get to this. Yeah. Are, we, are we playing like a couple of seasons back? Because yeah. the, the football pyramid, where does it end, right? Sunday league, isn't it? Yeah. No. So, <laughs> grassroots. No, 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 no. When does it so end? I think once you get past the Istiamans, there's combined counties or something like that. There's a, there's, the Watford, a, there's like an, the eighth, there's an eighth or ninth tier where it, that's the bottom, basically. And after that, that's where the FA Cup begins, essentially. Yeah. And they start working their way out. And eighth tier, that's the big it, yeah. teams basically get involved, I think, at the third round, third which round, is yeah. January, yeah. essentially. Yeah. So all first half of the season, while the Wait big clubs in. are playing the League Cup yeah. in the first half of the season. These men are fighting These it out. These men are fighting it out. Fighting yeah. it out. Like, <laughs> FA Cup starts, I think, from... It starts when, in, when it starts in August. Qualifiers August. Begins, yeah. yeah, August, August and shit um, like Late that, August. So. They said there's 136 clubs playing in the eighth tier of English football entered the FA Cup at this stage. The Northern Premier League, Southern Football League, um, the Smith. Smith, um, Smith, yeah. Smithian League, each um, have two regional divisions in each tier. Um, their clubs joined... 184 winners from the pe- previous round. That's why sometimes you hear those weird clubs that like will make a random trip from the first Here round all the way down. Tossin has to entered yes, the studio. <laughs> Lagos is greatness. What are you saying, bro? You good? <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. Hey, lateness is greatness, as Matisse says. Nah, that's that's the. <laughs> 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 hey, big up to you, though, man. That yeah. saying really is bailing out a lot of people. Bro, uh, uh, I, trust me, the way I've been using it, I can't lie to you, man. I've been abusing it's a that. It's content creator's dream, I'm telling hey. you. That line. <laughs> How are you, though? Are you good? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm, I'm having a bit of an issue, basically, sorting out a restaurant for my wife's birthday. Oh, oh no. no. I went to view it, mm. and then my man is basically telling me he changed the booking. Because there's a large group of people, he's putting us in the downstairs table. So he's just imposed a price on me that mm. 
like half of the people can't afford. So now I've had to cancel it. And now I've got one day left to find a place for like 30 Love. plus people. Wait, have wait, mercy. Wait, 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 wait. What I've decided is, what I've, what I've, what I've decided, if you can help us in the chat, help yeah, us. You know what I'm saying? What I've decided is, for, uh, I, I was actually thinking, just bring them to mind, but I'm yeah, like, yeah, bro. I'm like that's, a, that, that's, that's, a, that's, long. A, that's long. That's so long. I just figured I'm just going to go to that same restaurant, book for less people and just tell people, yeah, you know what? She loves you, but I don't think. <laughs> you or you may come. need to just come do like a separate booking thing. Cause yeah, this is, yeah, just, man. This yeah. is long. Yeah. So yeah. Games, yeah. Valentine's in, in a couple weeks as well. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, man. Just, pressure's was, on, lads. Pressure's on. Bro. Pressure's on you, I was just going man. through the date. Hey, I know, bro. I'm on first one. I was just going through the... Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I, got my You're in trouble. I was just going through the dates and I was like, I'm going to miss this DR, I'm going to miss this DR. Bro, that right. Monday, because you know, it's, if, it falls on a Wednesday, does it? Yeah, or the Tuesday? middle of the it's week. Tuesday. I don't, I'm, it's Tuesday. I'm like, I'm Wait, gonna, is Champions League back? Champions League's back, Dortmund away. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm my not missus look, the is 15th away. is looking like a long day. <laughs> I might have just come up with an excuse to get out of it. You <laughs> no, know? you no, you haven't. Just say, do you fancy? Well, who's you playing don't know me. So you, do you play on Tuesday? You better check. Huh? Just say, do you fancy 14th, a night in Milan? The 14th that is on night. Tuesday. The 15th is on Wednesday. I believe. My baby knows. <laughs> My so baby knows. I, she knows what she signed the contract. <laughs> Football comes first. <laughs> Football pays the Football bills. Focus. Yeah. <laughs> Football focus. Yeah. Focus. That's right, baby. Everything in life that's great starts with F. <laughs> Who had football? And food. <laughs> <laughs> um, good luck, Tosin. Lowell says Dino the Dino. Uh, KFC down the road, Tobes. It's actually Tosin, Georgie. Uh, 30 people, Dam says uh, the Denimat. And breakfast in bed says Naldo. Um, That's a shout. Lateness is greatness. What a soft work life you have, guys, says Eric. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's not my saying. I was here half an hour before any of these men even turned hey, up. Hey, all right, hey. you was there already. Come on, G. Come on, come on. Time. You know how it goes you know, sometimes. I hate, so. I hate being late. I know, I hate I know. It so much. Yeah. Um, um, book DR Sports Studio for for the food. Says uh, Abinah. <laughs> That's a shout, actually. <laughs> That's a shout. Hey, you don't want Matisse cooking for you. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to whip up something, do you know what I'm saying? This super chat as well says, um, uh, the FA Cup is a major cup. It's been watered down because of financial... Oh, you've done that one already. One, yeah, Sorry, yeah, apologies. One um, there was another one that came up as well. Um, thoughts on Leicester getting Tete. Uh, which Tete is that? Hey, yeah, that's the one, for Leon. one from Leon, right? I can't lie to you. Fullback. The winger. Winger. Oh, okay. I've, I've only seen a couple of, like, seen him. Couple of clips of him, him, but I was like, yo, he looks decent. Yeah. I think he's kind of similar of... Rafinha type player that they mm. wanted something different to what they have to the Jack Harrisons and I don't know who else they got Rocca at Tyler Adams this in is that Leicester midfield. Going, not oh, is Leicester. He, oh, is Leicester, it Leicester? Yeah. Leicester, yeah. yeah. It's a better option to than be Michael fair, Brighton. Goal Leicester for Bristol City, City by the way, while. against West Bromwich Albion in the FA Cup. Oh, it's wow. one nil to Sitter, uh, Bristol City. So um, they are ahead against the Championship side. Um, also, there are championship games going on as well, by the way. Hull are one up beaten. at home to QPR. Uh, and also, we should mention as well, earlier today, we did see Leicester win. One nil. Ian Acho keeps up his brilliant FA Cup record that he has at Leicester. Um, we also saw another result just before this one. Leeds 3-1 away at Accrington Stanley. And now that Tossin is here, we can talk about last night. Manchester uh, City fantastic. versus Arsenal. Surely you would have um, spoken about it already. So then that no, we, no, we were told nah. to wait. Until no, we, were actually, yeah, we were actually told to yeah, wait for yeah, you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, what did you make of it? Obviously, we did the post-match live show last night. We... Uh, basically said that I don't think the the performance level was necessarily bad from from Arsenal. It was no. just one goal and and that was the all that could decide it really. But yeah. it, again, chances for Arsenal and a lot of positives to take. Yeah, I mean it's weird because it's like you, you never want to be that person that says yeah we lost but there's positives. I, I I don't really like that. But at the same time, there were positives. It was a game of two halves, and Arsenal just went clinical when we were on top. Yeah. City when they were on top, they scored the goal. And that was the difference in the night, basically. So I, I liked what I saw from Trossard. I liked, what, I, I liked the fact that we made Haaland um, frustrated and angry throughout the match. I, I, I didn't have a great game. Didn't have a great game. So I, I thought Arsenal played all right. You know, with the players that came in, even Sambi when he came on looked decent. Hmm? Really? Um, his first yeah. touch was poor, but after that, he looked good. He switched to play really yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. He was, he, he, come on. A couple of moments I was looking at him, I was like, Yo, nah, man. does he know positionally where he is? Initially, yes. But like, if you look at, like, I was just happy with the progressive passing. I feel like I've okay. not seen that from Sambi yes. the bar since is low. like his first two games, basically. The bar is low. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, Arsenal, I thought Arsenal played all right. I did, like I said on AFTV yesterday, the positive for, for me from that game is City don't look imperious 
for me, they really don't. So I think it's there for the take in February 15th. When do you, do you think last plays. night mm. was maybe a, a test of what's to come, knowing that you kept both De Bruyne and Haaland fairly quiet? Um, obviously, there were a couple of good performances from both sides, but do you feel like you can deal with what's ahead of you, knowing that you didn't come away last night losing three or four, as you have done at the Etihad recently? Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, the record we have at the Etihad, like, to be honest, our record against City away from home the past few years has been shambolic anyway. So, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, I'll happily take a 1-0 loss at the Etihad compared to 4-0 down at half-time last year. I think... Um, Sorry, what was your question? I was about to say... Maybe is it point. a good test for the, for the game in February against so. Um It is and it isn't because I don't really feel like the intensity of the match mm -hmm. is anything like what it's going to be February 15th and the game after. I, I, it almost felt a little bit pre-season. Yeah, 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 it, it did. It was like a community it shield did. vibe. Um, one of the other players I didn't think had a great game, Saka as well. I thought yeah, Aki, he was pants. Aki did a job on him. I thought Aki this season has been arguably one of City's best players and that, that finish almost just highlighted. Bro, that was a proper strike. It was a, it was a really finish, good finish. Man. Right foot as well. Yeah, yeah I really like, he bent it. I was but then like, I wow. thought defensively on the other side, I yeah, think good. Pep was playing in like a back three and yep. I thought maybe Saka could exploit, you know, having all that space, playing mm -hmm. in between kind of the wing back. But Aki was just like, nah, 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 yeah, nah. Yeah. Shut up, shot tie it Great down and I was like yeah and I was like if you can keep Saka quiet I think that's like a big part of Arsenal this Facts. season let's be honest Saka has taken on another level Facts. and I think as much as um, City didn't look their part with KDB and uh, Haaland not turning out I do think on the other side as well they took advantage of that where if you can get a goal keep Saka quiet do you know what can they create something yeah. and you saw the massive I think level of drop off not saying that Lokonga you thought did decent but the level of drop off from oh, Partey 100%. oh yeah Partey when he was there the midfield at least looked Bruh. fluid you can Why create did he come off? Uh, apparently it was precaution like yeah. rib um, I hope he's not injured um We've lost four games. We've not won four games all season. Not a coincidence. Party came off at half time um, when it was nil nil at City. Came on when we were losing. I believe was it one nil to um, Brighton. Came, didn't play against United. Yeah, didn't play against United. So it's just I don't know. He didn't play against Brighton. I think he came on when we lost to PSV or something when it was one nil. So yeah, he's, he's massively not important. been in the games that you've lost this season. Yeah, which massive, says it all really. massive importance. Um, we'll talk about Arsenal a little bit more, but for Man City, fairly one-dimensional. A little bit worked out by Arsenal last night. Let's see what Hugh, the Man City fan, makes of the issues at Man City at the minute. Talking to Robbie. want this whether they're hungry for it there's certain players don't want to be at Manchester City we're well aware of this Bernardo is, is wrecking my head Turkish I can't lie for years he's at this I want my new challenge I want to go to a hotter country as Big Steve says get a sunbed man stick it in your flat in Manchester put the UV lights on plenty of heat um, and then Cancelo today the report is that he's saying he doesn't want to be or he, he wants to move away as well so there's disruptions in the dressing room man I'm reading reports saying There you go. Disruption in the dressing room, being rattled by Bernardo's decision to maybe not be clear on if he's leaving or not. Do you agree with the, let's go with you, do you agree with the, or oh, that there are issues at Man City at the minute? I think you can tell. I think when Facts. a team has been competing at the top, getting to Champions League semi-finals, competing for the title, to the degree that they have been as well, where it's like 90 plus points every year. Do you know how hard it is to get that? We've been doing it as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's another thing to <laughs> actually strikes. push that next level sure. and win it. Sure, and then yeah, do it right, again right. and win it again. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You, you guys kind of like do it and then and drop off like, and then do it and then drop off. Do you do it? But... Oh. No. Um, anyway, <laughs> Man City, Man City. I do, I do, I do agree with the players. I do think motivation can be hard to keep up. But then I do think the Bernardo situation as well has been lingering for about last three summer, or four years. I think I'd he's say. Wanted, two, yeah, two or three. Two, 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 he wanted two, to leave. Yeah, and then two or three. This season, Barcelona pulled every lever in the world to try and get him. And I think at one point they did actually turn his head where he was like, "I do want to leave." I don't know why. But some way, somehow, yeah. And this is the thing. I don't understand why he wants to leave. He's in a team where he's winning everything. He's competing. Everything. Getting a lot Pep of games. treats him like he's the best player in the world, Bernardo Silva. And I'm like, all right, and you're also in the best league in the world. Trust me, I've seen players who've had situations like that a la Coutinho 
go and go. get their dream move and it's flop. pants you now they can't cut the grade at villa yeah and i'm like bro it's not all shiny i've seen james rodriguez it's like it doesn't grass always is not work always greener grass is not always but at the same time you're gonna take that move aren't you yeah so you have and to do i get it. it but the thing is is this your last chance sure. and the thing is i feel like since the summer where he's requested that move his Bernardo's been one of the biggest drop-offs in Man City yeah, this year, yeah, and yeah. people aren't talking about it. People True. highlight when Haaland doesn't perform, De Bruyne doesn't perform, but he goes under the radar, and he has been one of the biggest needle pushers, I feel like, in their system. The one that is able to drive the ball from midfield, mm -hmm. find those eye-to-needle passes. You take that away from City, what do City become? Mm -hmm. And if Foden is inconsistent as well, KDB's not performing, now it's like, Bernardo, are you going to step up? And no one mm. ever says anything. So mm. I, I definitely think some of their heads are gone, but I don't think it's being done in the right manner. It's, I think it surprised Cancelo as well, apparently, isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah, a weird one. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a very weird. strange one. Because yeah. he, I mean, he was being spoken about as maybe the best fullback in the league, and now he's being benched um, quite, Rico Lewis is quite comfortably minutes. by Rico so, Lewis as well. Rightly so. On the other side, in that case, you know, they've kind of moved to a back three system um, in spite of him, and, and Rico Lewis is tucked into the, to the double pivot in, in midfield. So I... All is definitely not well. I think this is kind of natural though. When you win that many trophies, like when you win four out of the last five, this is why football goes in cycles. It's never exactly. just going to keep going and going and going. And this is why I think people forget that when Man City are dominating and at peak of their powers, people think it's just, just going to go on forever. Mm. Who's ever going to stop them? They will stop themselves. Mm -hmm. Humans stop themselves mm -hmm. from, from, from continuing that kind of domination. Yeah. Like it's it, the game, there's too much mentality and other factors outside ability that come into football for you to keep doing it year in, year out, year in, year out. And, yeah. and that's the team that actually bring in new players, freshen it up. Constantly. You know, Phillips comes in, that's meant to be hunger and desire. Then he's probably potentially overweight and then Pep has to call him sexy. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you bring in Alvarez, you bring in Harlan. They, they do mix it. Grealish. They, they don't rest on their laurels, yeah. yeah. But even still, when you're, it's just football. I do it's think some of those- Ortega had a good game last night. He did have a good goalkeeper. Game, yeah. I do think some of those <laughs> new recruitments that have come in as well that haven't always hit, in my opinion, I think people like Akanji, in my opinion, I don't think he's up to the same standard as like if you take out Ruben Diaz. I do think some of those names you mentioned as well, I don't think they've come in and been to that same level. Like, I don't look at City's squad now and think they have a squad of it's killers. Scary. Like, when yeah. they're bringing people off the bench against Arsenal, awesome. and, like, and, mm. and I really mm. feel like losing Sterling, Jesus and Zinchenko was three major losses. I think the numbers Sterling brought in off the wing, which was additional goals. Exactly. I think Jesus just provided... Even for Jesus is one of those players that even if he's not scoring, he contributes. And in City's team, you saw that constantly. He was exactly. either hassling, creating. I saw him play right wing, left wing, through the middle. And Zinchenko, I think you've seen since he's gone. Technically, I think, wise, incredible bro, football. that's the biggest Mentality. thing I've Two said. Two players, him The fact that Fernandinho. he took the, um, was always one of Ukraine's leaders. I was always like, ah, interesting. City team, I always said, anytime I saw him play there, he's a minimum seven out of 10. Yeah. But I said, for some reason, no one ever seems to want to take the gamble on him. Such when you lot got player. him this summer, I was like, I can't even rate this guy Such anymore now. Damn it. <laughs> but you can see the level of what he's brought to Arsenal. Leadership, consistency, quality, With versatility. Are they, are they missing I, Fernandinho leadership-wise as well? Fernandinho, you could say, but I think they were ready to face Fernandinho really. out in a sense a little of bit they are. Ruben mm. Diaz took over the leadership and Rodri took over the position. Mm -hmm. So it was like, you know what? We've kind of got that covered. The I system's just, being defragmented at yes. Man City. I think Abby, um, she was saying it like three weeks ago, and I really agree with her. It's like, when players have been brought into Man City before, even no matter how good, they've needed time to be blooded in and play the way Man City want to play. Now, when they're buying transfers, it's like City, you take away Raheem, you take away Jesus, you take away Zinchenko. Now, when players are coming into City, it's almost as if City are now having to sort of adjust the way they play yeah. mm. to suit the new players they're playing as the other way around. Grealish, basically. Haaland. It makes sense. They're, 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 in, they're in a trend. They're, they're transitioning away from their, from from who what they've been historically. But is that not they've been their recipe to success a little bit? And then you mix that with the lack of you know being able to motivate yourself for seven years in a row, whatever it is. So it's difficult. Mm. It is a difficult. That's situation. Um, Manchester City. We're going to speak about Arsenal quickly to remind you though there has been another goal in the FA Cup. It's Southampton one 0 up at oh, home nice. to Blackpool. Roman Perot scoring the goal. Let's talk about Arsenal now. Here is a clip uh, for, for from AFTV of Robbie outside the Etihad last night. Let's get his thoughts. I'm not scared of City, yeah, but yeah, I mean, bring them on. Bro, bring them on when, it, right no, now, no, yeah. when they come down. In, what, have you not just, we, yeah, we're in, there. We're in their place now. Yeah. We're in their place. They've scraped a 1-0 win, scraped it. Mm. Yeah. 
as I said, normally when we come here, you know, I mean, we're getting battered, like 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 Premzi said. But yeah. you know, I'm not scared of City when they come down to, to our place. We've got a very very good side. Talk to me, on very the... good side. And like like um, you know, everyone's been saying, we made a lot of changes today as well. Six yeah, changes, I think we made. Man, they only really made they made two changes with the goalkeeper. That was it. Yeah. That was there. You know, what I mean, Harlem. I was surprised that yeah. Harlem was playing. I was Someone surprised that they like, Harlem played. Mm. You know what I mean? De Bruyne played. Grealish played. Yeah, strong side. All the big dogs. Mahrez, Grealish, Grealish, everyone, didn't run yeah. Grealish didn't run past Tomiyasu once mm. in that game. Not once. No, listen, I'm, I'm, when they come down to our place, listen, don't, don't get it twisted. We're not going to disrespect them. They're, they're, they're the champions. They've got quality. As I said, in a tight game, it's their quality that has told in the end, mm. right, with, with one moment. But when they come down to the Emirates, they're... Yeah, yeah, 100. Well, there you go. Uh, Robbie, ever the optimist outside the Etihad after witnessing an Arsenal loss. Bless you. Bless you. Base. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, let's talk about the mental challenge that was for Arsenal last night. Arteta made seven changes. Mm -hmm. um, mentally, is that one leg up to City so far this season? Or did Arteta show that with the changes, he's not necessarily maybe concentrating on winning the FA Cup and he's, he's more focusing on the league now? I think mentally, it's only a leg up if it's like a full on, like we humbled you, like a hammering. We, I think it's only like a mental thing if we got battered like 4 0, City completely outplayed us. But we're talking, we made six changes, and like for the first half, we bossed it basically. We should have made it, we should have made it count, but we didn't. So I don't think there's any sort of psychological leg up in terms of Man City. I think everyone can see now from yesterday, City are on the wane. They've, this is not just Arsenal, they played like this. Chelsea with youngsters went to their ground, Carabao Cup, and for, honestly, we're the better team. When they lost, was it two one that you guys lost? We lost um, at Stamford Bridge. You're saying no, no, as in like Car oh, Carabao Cup, Cup this yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, e it was even even so game. So I don't They're really better finishers. I don't really see any sort of. I don't see this to have any sort of massive impact on when we play them in the league. I think Arsenal are chomping at the bit for Man City. It's been that way since January um, last uh, January last year when we played them and we imposed our game on them at the Emirates. So I don't really think there's any sort of psychological issue. Speaking of psychological, did you um, notice the mind games potentially from Arteta and Pep going into this game? He was basically saying how that when Arteta used to be at City and they'd score a goal against Arsenal, Arteta wouldn't celebrate. He said he, he knows how much Arteta loves Arsenal. Do you think he was maybe trying something there? I mean, you have to read between the lines a little bit. He is. You reckon, yeah? Well, I, I, 100% he is. Because um, this is the first of three meetings you've got. Yeah, he's... Pep, and it's not just what he said then. He's been. Do I remember when he flipped out like last week and he was talking about how disrespectful people are being towards City, and then he's saying about Arsenal, very good team, very very good. It's like more than incomplete. Yeah, like come on. I don't know. I think he's trying to get under our skin, but it's not really going to work. This Arsenal team has shown. Look, even if we take an L, even if we get knocked down, let's just focus on what we're doing. Bounce back, win the next game. I think. I think Pep, with these comments, he's not doing enough. You know, we, we need yeah. prime level Jose Mourinho type shit if you want to get into it. He wasn't buying Arsenal. it when he was saying, 20 years, 20 years, 20 years, years. they have been starting. <laughs> oh, hey, listen, I was like, yo, he's cooking something here, you know. Because that's, it starts the with the, though. they're hungry, they're hungry. Yeah, he's what right. You believe? What? But, and then a couple of weeks later, it's like, I don't know, I just feel like he needs Pep to read their team sheet. And, out and, next, and next what match. he did was, he did this perfectly to Klopp, and Klopp fell for it for years. He does this disarming thing where he's, Overly complimentary exactly. to your side. He's complimentary. We don't to need you to gas us. Don't, he loves, don't gas us. He loves your passion. And what he's doing, he's gassing our third to say, the best team I, know I mean, we were, we were a bit more in... levels, though, than what he's complimenting at the minute. Mm, Champions League, the Premier League is, winners. Is, like, but you lot's rivalry was that. always like a friendly rivalry. It, mm. There was never no bad blood. But the quality I, was the best. Quality hype. I'm talking about rivalry you know what I'm saying? Another goal for and Bristol, like by the way. 2 0 up at home to West Brom. trying to create a rivalry with Arteta now. I don't. I don't think Pep likes rivalries. He likes let's be friends, mm. and in that way, he will always get the trump card on you. It's, it's the same way. Like he'll get teams who sit back and he'll be like, "They sit behind the ball. Why don't they come out and play?" What? So you can pump us nine nil? It's yeah. like no thanks, mate. It's like yeah. Pep is very, very yes. intellectual individual he will play 4d chess of arteta but arteta gonna, knows this yeah. this is the thing and he i does. like that arteta it's gonna, not it's gonna have it. it's gonna have zero <laughs> impact on because you saw what pep said last zero week he said impact. there's no way we can win the premier league 
Arsenal, it's basically that he's basically setting you up for failure to just to yeah. sneak in at the last minute. Yeah, yeah. But, but that's the thing. He, he could read out their team as well. Yeah. You know when Mourinho read, read out yeah. the, the the Barca team, he could easily read out. Uh, uh, everybody can read out Arsenal's strongest team. Yeah. Everybody knows it. He should just do it in a in a press conference coming up to the game. Just just name their whole. Pep is like that. You got to remember, Pep's first rodeo into football was. Uh, a, a war with the Jose Mourinho. Yeah. Once you experience that, and even though you're winning, you still feel like the loser in it. <laughs> he doesn't want no more of that. He's mm, like, forget that. I'm going to take the complete opposite route. And Arteta, I'm telling you, is a very smart man. He is. I don't think he's falling for it. And I, I he knows him personally. The danger for him will be making sure his players don't let those earworms get in their ear. Because if he and starts Zinchenko putting the pressure... And Jesus, by and the way, they'll know about it. They can even, spread the I'll word. I'll be real true. Even small little things, yeah, where when Zinchenko was leaving the pitch yesterday yeah. and every Man City player's grabbing him like, grabbing bro, his like, ear. slapping yeah. his... I'm like, bro, you're <laughs> going to go back that. there and try and act like head honcho. I saw but that. you just got little bro out there in front of yeah, everyone. I nah, you can't you let things like shot. that happen. Yeah. Zinchenko now needs to use that as fuel for the game in two weeks crash it on their heads you know what that that's what you need of. to do he will do you know what that I reminded me of do you remember um Italy like, play like, little, he, he little <laughs> bro did like, yeah. <laughs> remember a real rivalry man <laughs> Listen, I'm hoping that Arteta makes this what? like right. make sure this we're gonna is a real stick rivalry. it on him watch we will right. this, we this will. is it could you see this cut it was all about handshakes and Hard we're gonna stick it on him. You know, what? I need this to be but real. But do you remember the Make Pellini in the Euros a couple of years ago? I, f I can't remember who Italy were playing. It was a penalty shootout. It went to extra time. It wasn't England. And Chiellini, when they're tossing the coin, he picks up. Was it? Who was it? Was it Aspilicueta or someone? It was the other captain. They're doing the coin toss, and just before the mind game started in the penalty shootout, and he just picked he him up. Picked him up and was like, "Come on, let's have." And it's like you just little Brody. Yeah. yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. I think I know you're talking about. I can't remember exactly. Jordi, they're saying, they're saying Jordi, Jordi Alba, Italy versus Spain. Jordi Alba. That was it. Jordi Alba. <laughs> he literally picks him up. He's like. Gra overly yeah, grabs like him towards one nil already. <laughs> one nil, yeah. and, they, and Italy won that. Italy oh, won that you're talking that. Euro 2021. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 he yeah, did. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was yeah. against Spain in the yes. semi finals. Mm. Yes, it was. That was what I'm talking about. That, <laughs> yeah, I, I, he little bro him on a well. mad one. <laughs> that wasn't even a little bro. This is baby bro. This is like, but Todd the way he mentally destroyed him in that coin toss. <laughs> is I'm not saying like that was that was a bad thing. For example, yesterday, but I hope Zinchenko took note of that and was like. Yo, these men still see me as happy. little bro. Like, I need to dunk on it. Because yeah. even I feel like when City lost Jesus and um, Zinchenko to Arsenal, it was like, oh, you know, we can afford to lose yeah. them. And Pep and was probably like, thinking oh, shit, in his head, oh, I'm doing my mate Arteta a favour. Yeah. He can help rebuild a top four side. He... I, 100% did not expect not that they were going to be part of a title no way, race. No, They're going to be the main pieces that are going to be coming for you. And now it's like it's coming back to bite you. Zinchenko little bro them. used that. Like you said. Bro. Yeah, Pep, Pep, but little now little bro, bro is big bro. Yeah. Exactly. He little he little bro Arteta and Arsenal. Like, I've always said it, right? He and gave I say him a it, Charmander say, and he's seen a Charizard. I, say, <laughs> I like that. No, I, I, like that. Way, I like that one. I like that. I, like I always that. say Good it. Evolution. I always say it and I said it on the big six as well. All these people that pretend that they like Arsenal, right? Liverpool, mm -hmm. Man City fans. Mm -hmm. I don't mind Arsenal. Yeah, but but you know what I mean when they start saying, oh, see, look, Arsenal, look, they're building something. You can see they're a nice team, you know what I mean? And then when they actually now build something that's actually now rivaling you, you're starting to yeah, see yeah, the yeah. arguments now. Oh, hold on a second. You guys are trying to take a Premier League off of us. You guys are trying to now get in, in the way of what we're doing. We were just trying to build you up to be this top four team mm -hmm. that yeah, just, you know, for sits in season. fourth, plays nice what football. You have to but now you're involved. No, 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 no. We're not having that. Listen, man. backhanded compliments. Yeah. You, got, you got to remember as well that the the pain Arsenal fans have been through as well for the past twenty years. Mm -hmm. Like as much as you know, we talk about banter and things like that. Is sometimes it's even worse because of the way you fell from. Now they're gonna be twice as loud, bro. <laughs> like if you thought they were loud during their pain, Lord have yeah. mercy. I don't think we were loud. They'll be loud in their mercy. pleasure. I don't think Arsenal. <laughs> I don't think Arsenal were loud in our pain, though. I what? think we, I think we were loud about how bad the team were. I don't no, think. Yeah, we were. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, but that's yeah. what I mean. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Do you know what Arsenal fans are on cloud nine right at right right at this minute? But rival fans are still not enjoying it. Let's see what expressions and KG think yes. about Arsenal's success. Let me see. Right let now. me see our hater cams. Right. Yes. You're taking the piss, bro. And if you man lose this thing, yeah, me. 
I'll I'll be the greatest dickhead. What if we win it? No, no, wait, wait, wait. Let me. Like, what if we win it? Arsenal. Let me see your Arsenal fans, yeah. No, no, no. I've got no, no, everything. What bro. if we win it? Listen, Arsenal fans. Yeah. I swear, everywhere I go, I'm surrounded by Arsenal fans. Where I wash everywhere, my car, everywhere they're leaving streaks there, yeah, blood. Yeah, yeah. You know, leaving streaks <laughs> on my whip, fam. No, no, honestly, blood. They're leaving streaks. Goldberg yeah, 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 level yeah, yeah, the streaks, yeah, 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 yeah. hundred and all, fam. Yeah, 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 you know them way there. Everywhere I go, blood. Yeah. I went to the barbers, but man had me sitting there for an hour and a half, yeah. blood. Wanna that Jamaica. You. I was like, listen, blood. You man support Jamaica. You can't chat to me about Tottenham, blood. Do you know them way there, fam? You know like that too, yeah. You know what I mean? And then, you know, in the DMs, I'm ignoring yeah. everyone, yeah? yeah. This is what yeah. they're doing. This is what yeah. Arsenal fans are doing. They've got so much time, blood. They're literally making fake profiles. Yeah. Putting exotic names, yeah. bad photos, blood. Yeah. You get me, fam? Yeah. So then you're thinking, oh yeah, this is X a... thinks it's a gal, and I click on it. Talk <laughs> shit. We battled you at the Emirates. You know what I mean? No, I'm getting it from yeah, everywhere, yeah, yeah, blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, no, what right. if you win it though? You I said, said, what if you win it? What if we win it? What would you do? Nigeria. <laughs> Nigeria, just Nigeria, bro. But you know again. what? To be, uh, I actually, need my family. You know, actually, I need my no, no, kids, no. bro. I start again, fam. New One family. Second. I One get second. a wire edge Volvo, fam. <laughs> uh, bro, I will start again. Wire edge Volvo. Uh, expressions. Mean, what are you say? Is that you? <laughs> no expressions. <laughs> Is that what you? Just look so tall. <laughs> oh man. god those I two love the hate of cams people. come on but listen that's what that's what it's like out here in these streets if you're not an Arsenal fan right yep now. drink that water man Mm. Oh tough. snap! Is that oh. is that a shot? <laughs> I'm not. It's not really a shot. I don't care about Tottenham. I'm focusing the title. I'm not really. You are focused. You've, ever since you you said that you feel like you're gonna win it, it's just like tunnel vision. Yeah, you know I, mean? I, I want that title, and we're gonna beat City. So let me ask you this, right? You're out the FA Cup. Ooh. Is that, a, that is that that's kind of a good thing? Is it less games? No, it's not. I I want to. You want to. If you're in a competition, I want. Arsenal, if Arsenal are in a competition, I want them to win as much as possible. But um, it's annoying that we got City so early, but it is what it is. We're out. I'm, mm. I'm, it's, it's better at least to put the team we put out, play the way we played for the first half at least, lose 1-0, then go out to Nottingham Forest, go out... As you have done. Yeah, like, recently. come on. What about so, the, the Europa League? Are you guys going to... Do you want do you want them to prioritise that? Or again, is it one of those kind of situations where if you were to go out, and you could just fully focus on the Premier League. Because if you go out the Europa League, you don't have to do that Thursday to Sunday. Yeah. If you go, go out the Europa League I'd sacrifice and, it. and you just one game a week, I'd I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to lie. I don't see how in, 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 I don't even see how they don't win it. If, if you have one game a week, no, no Europa League, it's I don't some, see how they yeah, don't win it. Lose the City I twice. I, I, yeah, 100% I'll, I'll <laughs> sacrifice Europa League. Well, maybe. I'll sacrifice Europa you're, League. You're going to sacrifice. Who have you got in the next round? Uh, I actually can't remember. Um, <laughs> Well, there you remember. go. Yeah. Because okay. to be honest, to be honest, yeah, to, be exactly. to be honest, to be honest, Arteta's not prior. Like, if you actually look at the teams, he's, he's not really prioritized Europa. I can't see him actually demonstrating that he is really, really going after the Europa League title. I don't think he. I don't think he's prioritized it. So Arsenal fans in the comments, let us know now. Do you sacrifice? Do you almost throw the Europa League so you can go double down on the Would Premier League? J Jason I mean, in the comments. I'll, I'll see how. I'd, let me actually look, see who Jason in the comments says, we don't have any European trophies. I don't know if I'd sacrifice Ooh, it. If, yeah. uh, um, see how far we can bunch. go, is what, is what I'd say. We got it's not drawn yet, apparently. Oh, yeah, because the playoffs have Oh, yes, oh, yes. Because right. the the United teams. have got Barcelona yeah, yeah, yeah. Playoffs. Yeah. the playoffs. I get that you haven't won it playoffs. yet. And we should still go for we it. We should still go for it, but Premier League, we just spoke about it, right? Major, medium, minor. We know what, what is more important here. Is it the Premier League or is it the Europa League? There's, there's, there's it's no the Premier question. League. And you'll rotate. If we can get both, rotate, if Boy, we can get both they, out, Jesus. Mate, I would, I'd be laughing if we could. Yeah. The parade, it would be a, prop, it no, would be a wild parade. I think, what, what do you think is... Be ready for what, this is a good question. <laughs> what, do you, what trophy is worth a parade for? What's the lowest you could go for a parade? I think only, to be honest, only... Would you parade a League Cup? No. Only, <laughs> only, only Premier League... Relax yourself, bro. We had only Premier League and Champions League are parade worthy, <laughs> if you ask me. Only Premier League and Champions League. Sorry? You did a parade. Only Premier League and Champions League. Only Premier League and Champions League. Premier League and Champions League. I know we... Audi we, Cup? Sorry? Audi Cup? No. Did they, hold that would on. just be on the... And we we just, did, we did on one for the FA Cup when we... We did one for the FA Cup in 20... Was it 2014? Portsmouth did When we broke our... That's fine. That's different. That's different. That's actually different. But it's the same trophy. Yeah, but it's a different context. But it's different. Come on, you know. If Stanley won an FA Cup, if Akron... I want to see a parade. Hella parade. Yeah, but... 
Uh, you guys, you won and Carabao Cup and FA Cup. Did you do you feel like it warranted a parade? No ban. Hundred percent, bro. Yeah. It was the best, one parade, of the best really, days for ever. The Champions League, bro. Let's be real. And the Premier League. And then they didn't just didn't and just it. didn't yeah. execute. It's fine. But listen, yeah. we can It was that. honestly, for, I was there, bro. It was sick. Virgil Some of the flags me, had to get crossed out there. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> the stitches <laughs> had to come out. Just cut that and bed off, lads. The marketing on the bus. Champions League. The marketing on the bus changed quick. Yeah. Certain man already had printed shirts. No. Me and Doyle just in the flat like. Go and burn them shirts, lads. <laughs> Can't wear them, lads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, I could talk all day about the FA Cup. I've got a lot of uh, respect it's for it. Tossin, let me ask you this. I've asked the other guys, um, and maybe you don't have to give the obvious ones or whatever, but from your living memory so far, what is your favourite FA Cup moment slash the most infamous upset that you've you've seen? It doesn't have to be your team, and we're asking everyone in the comments to oh, say this. Oh, is this, this well. non-Arsenal? It can, can be I give one like? Arsenal and one non-Arsenal? Sure, let's go. Um... One Arsenal, obviously, personal, when we went, I was there at Wembley when we beat Chelsea in, in 2017, the final, when no one backed us, when Conte's all conquering Chelsea were racking up the points. And it's we. Another final you lost, bro. And yeah, I was, Jeez. I remember that I, I went to every, I, I pretty much went to every match that cup run. I was there when we beat Man City 2 1 semi final, and I was there when we beat Chelsea. So that, that's, that's my personal favourite FA Cup memory. But if I think generally, FA Cup moments. 2001? Mm. FA Cup moments. Owen, he's done it. No, definitely not He's that. won the FA Cup for Liverpool all definitely on his own. Definitely not that. Um, this is going to... Liverpool versus West Ham. <sighs> Gerrard. The Gerrard final. Wow. Wow. Maybe Liverpool the best goal. versus West Ham. In terms of like technique technical ability to pull off a goal that, like that. goal is like come on you i think it's liverpool you know, they, you know they chat about the 50p spot on the ball mm -hmm. gerard hit the 5p spot on that mm -hmm. ball, yeah. and it did the not valve. raise it was this far across the ground the whole way Grass cut. that is disgusting technique yeah. yeah and it was the last minute as well cramp and let's not forget massive massive favorites for that final two nil down mm -hmm. two two three two down gerard somehow find, finds energy to score two bangers Scores in the penalty shootout as well. And Pepe Reina saves from Anton Ferdinand. And I guess that it is what it is. You'd expect Liverpool to win that. But I remember Nicky Hawkins saying he was at that game, West Ham. Mm -hmm. And he said, do you know what though, Gerard, he came over and gave us a good bloody clap after. So I like him, he's all right. <laughs> he's all right. I would say that's, but that's mine. That was, that's up there for me. Um, also, the, obviously, the 2001 Owen against Arsenal. Joke. One of my favourite ones was the Luton game. Does anyone remember this? We won... I think in the end it was like 4-2, but we went behind and Alonso scored left foot inside of his own box at Kenilworth Road. Do you remember? And Gerard was screaming for him to, uh, to pass the ball to him. And as the ball was Halfway trickling line. across the line, yeah, Gerard yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he wanted yeah. the pass. He's I remember like, the Havertz and Waterloo Because the keeper was up. I remember that one. That yeah. one, five two. Yeah, yeah. that was uh, that was again. They went. Didn't ahead. he do that yeah. to Newcastle yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Halfway yeah. line. The halfway yeah. line in the yeah. season yeah. after. What player? You seen what he's doing at Leverkusen as well? Yeah. Who is him from? Is he is he doing well now? Xavi Alonso took them from. I think they were just above the relegation zone when he took over, and now they're eighth, seventh. I think he went out in Champions League, but he's doing well in Europa. When when he got that Leverkusen job, I think I. I tweeted out, I said, I guarantee you, he gets closer to the Liverpool job than Steven Gerrard, Gerrard at Villa ever does. Mm. And I remember Ooh. at the time, people were like, what are you talking about? You're just saying that. And I was like, I can just see, I can just see something like that happening. He's going to be a good so man. You don't, you don't, you don't think Gerrard's a good coach? No, I just thought Gerrard made the Villa move too, too early. early. Uh, I, yes, I, yes, I was yes. like, he should have stayed out Rangers. Rangers a bit more. Dominated, almost become like... Forget Celtic, Rangers are back and yeah. they're back because of me. Mm. Yeah. Five years dominate, go and get yourself a little he did it in run or whatever. Though, no, with Rangers. Fantastic. He go did, and but do you should have carried on. Like and Brent, got to Europe. And you see, like Brendan Rodgers, say no to Brendan Rodgers when he did that three years at Celtic, yeah, yeah, he rebuilt but, his uh, reputation. He actually put some respect yeah, on his yeah. name. It wasn't just like you're a young, pretty cop. If he did that same thing, Gerard did the, all right, cool, I got enough name, I got yeah, enough clout on my name to get a Premier League move. And then I got credit in the bank for a year. Because uh, I looked at Villa and I was like, what's the expectation for Villa when you come here? But you say you're yes gonna to that job, don't you? If you're rain, like, not really. No, would you say not no? necessarily. You have to, no. I don't think so. For me, that's only, the same. Only on purely financial terms, would Facts. you say yes? Yeah, yeah. Facts. But like, in I terms of career development, you have to stay there. Bro, yeah. 100%. I would have just stayed there. Because Villa, it's like, it becomes a... You spend the money, now you've got to push for Europe. I looked at the top seven and I was like, ain't Poison any of them moving. Then you've got Newcastle joining that pack challenge. as well. And then I was like, so you're going to be mediocrity Fulham, basically with Brentford, Villa. Brighton. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to be in that mid-pack. And if you're not exceeding that, 
you're not you're doing an excellent job. Yeah. And if you're just staying in that pack, have you really improved Villa with all that spending? Mm -hmm. So I said, it, and it, if you're below the pack, you're getting yeah. sacked. Villa, Villa have not what, been in that pack happened. since Martin O'Neill days. Facts. Facts. Yeah, it meant a long yeah, time since with him. him. Yeah. When, John, they, John and, when they were jostling us for four, the Premier League yeah. was a top four race. Then, yeah, not top six. Do you see what I'm saying? Solely, it was just big four yeah. settings. Yeah, top yeah. seven. So, now so, I, so. I, I, literally the day he got hired, I remember I was tweeting it out. I was like, "Why did he do this? He ruined us." Because I had a lot of stocks when he was in Rangers and he was doing all the little cool walks. I was like, "Yeah, man, <laughs> I'm on this Gerard train, man." I just could just see the crash and burn coming. Yeah, mm. Chabi Alonso, that what a goal that was. Chabi um, Other memories from the FA Cup. Um, I guess I'll go with an upset. I remember, uh, was it Arsenal lost to? <laughs> of course. Actually, we'll go Leeds at United. Jermaine Beckford. Oh, one yeah. Nil. oh yes. That was yes. a big upset. Darby yes. County at uh, Frank Lampard at Old Trafford as well. Comes yeah. to mind now. Like that mean Beckford, gunman. Yeah, yeah. That was a, Probably one of the biggest. The Wigan, the Wigan win was crazy. Ben Watson head on. Yeah, Ben That's Watson. wild. The, the fact that it was like that City team as well was like and the first down. I felt like iterate. Yeah, and then they, they won it the year before, wasn't it? Mm. So mm -hmm. the year before was 2012. They beat us in the final. Yeah. Andy Carroll Andy off the Carroll line. So when yeah. did City, because the City's FA Cup win was their first trophy. That would have been 10-11 then. 10-11 maybe? Yeah. That was when they beat uh, And they won the Premier League 11-12. Yes. Yeah. 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 So yeah. They, they beat Stoke 10-11. So that would have been their second FA Cup. And I remember at that point you was thinking, yo, City on the in team right now. And then they come up against Wigan. Yeah. It's like, do you know what I think it's good? To, to <laughs> Near post right. corner. Boom. That was a good header. I was though. like, yo, was solid. Should we try and flex a little bit our football knowledge and try and name all the winners since the year 2000? Oh, wow. Should I go through some Super Chats first? Yeah, go Give for us it. time to think. Give us time. Um, Chris says Cup Winners' Cup in 1994. <coughs> Is that in relation to Arsenal? I believe uh, yeah, so, yeah, but, but mm, that doesn't really count as a European someone Cup. Someone in the comments said we've won no European Cup. Yeah, so that, that's what the retort that is. is. Uh, 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 minor, minor. Yeah. Minor um, ATV <laughs> says, you guys worried about Arsenal's dynasty considering we have the youngest team and manager and they haven't hit yes, their peak? I actually am, yeah. They're one of the youngest teams and they're playing this well. I wouldn't be worried about dynasty, no. I think they're going to be up there challenging. It's if, not a dynasty yet, though. Let's, no. But you know, Chelsea yeah. are building a very young team now, so I expect us yeah, to Yeah, Chelsea are making right good signings. I yeah, think they the just need to get rid of Potter. They'll probably sack Potter at the end of the season if the results don't change. No, I don't think. No, they don't. Hey. They will I think they will. Don't say way. I'm out. hearing talks today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, even I got a little three, excited. 3.0. 3.0. Like, it, it, okay. it won't happen. It won't happen. Surely not. Yeah, hey, listen. He won't be sacked this season either. He won't. You never know. They very much back him. Like, one. They believe him. You'd think that it was just a flippant appointment. Just because he was like looking like a good coach and he's I English, want, but he act, they that, actually genuinely look like they really the believe the, in him. The, the, that cowboy needs to prove it to me then. Like, <laughs> can we, back Matisse, back he's backing him, back though, isn't he? No, no. Look, once the season's done. Yeah, no, he will. He so, won't. I'm Matisse, telling you right now, he will not. Why would you say no to Jose round three? Because, bro, don't be silly. You, no, you I am dead you, serious. You just want drama. That's all. Yeah. you're No, no, no. For. I don't want this, drama. This that Jose would be that would be a disastrous. With all of the young players we've just signed, with all of the young players we've just signed, that's a disastrous appointment. Because this plane that you're trying to land, you're circling right now. Snakes on a plane vibes. I see it's what you're on. Not, Snakes on a plane. It's not, and I'm not dashing no chihuahua land. in your let direction. Me let me let me yeah. let me land this plane. So we agree we agree that Jose, yeah, got sacked six days before a final. Spurs Spurs are wrong there, right? Yeah. Because he went on the very next job, Roma, showed he can still coach, went and won the conference league with them. The very same trophy that Spurs were in and should have won, mm. let's be honest, right? So he still can coach. And let's be honest, Roma is a very young team, arguably one of the youngest teams in Syria, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. A lot of youngsters have been given their opportunity. People love to beat Jose with this stick. And the thing is, is the reason if you look at Jose, why he failed at point, Spurs. Eh? One second. The reason why Jose <laughs> failed at Spurs and United, both times he was held back by a board that was not willing to back him. United, he asked for defenders. They said no. Then they gave Harry Maguire to the next guy and all these. Anyway, Spurs, we all know the situation. He wasn't backed. Now at Chelsea, the one club he loves, the one club where he has stocks, the one club where there's a chairman spending money at a wild rate, you're telling me he can't come back and do something, despite him now going to Roma and having still shown he can still coach, not splash the cash and do whatever, because Roma are still competing in the top four spot this year as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. they're still doing their thing. Let's not act like Jose is just. I'm not saying washed, he's washed. I'm not saying he's narrative. washed. I'm bored of that. I'm not saying. I just want to know why Chelsea fans are so dismissive to their goat. <laughs> why? 
It's this been guy's twice. Devil's advocate. He's playing devil's ah, advocate. Hey, I'm just it's asking been, questions. It's been, uh, are we not here to discuss it's more? Been, <laughs> see the way you flip it to your goat. <laughs> This guy is evil. Uh, hey, <laughs> is he not your goal? Guy, Listen, he is, he is your goal. goal. He is. It's a good point. He is our I'm going to get on his side. He is I'm going to get on his side. He is. Mourinho is a goat. He is. But Ain't he meant to be your best now? Yeah, I'm but, on your side. Yes. Yeah. But I'm tell me why. Well. Tell me why. <laughs> For me personally, yeah, with the players that we've brought in right now, these mm -hmm. young, young players, I know what he's done at Roma, but his track record for his career has not been around, oh, we're going to develop young players, especially in this modern generation. We know yeah. how he's been speaking on in terms of, you know, modern generation. I don't like the egos. I don't like the lack of work rate here, there and everywhere. For me personally, I just don't see him coming back to the top level, especially to Chelsea right now with the way that we're trying to do a long term, like long term project. Mm -hmm. like, when have we ever seen Mourinho do a long term project? No, it's no, never happened. Right. It's never happened. So for me personally, with Potter, I'm not saying that Potter's a better manager or anything, but I think he's better suited to the role because he's got a clear track record of staying at a club for a while. Ostersons, mm -hmm. now Brighton and youth development and player development. So for me, I wouldn't bring in a Jose Mourinho unless, again, it was the final cherry on top of the cake and you're trying to win right now. And so that's what we're I'm not saying. at that stage. So let's we're not there. Okay. okay. But so you're I'm saying not, it might I'm be too not, premature. You're not completely it's too premature. It out? I'm, it's premature. Okay. Very premature. I gotcha. As long as it's not off the table, I'm, I'm with it. I, 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 listen, I'm, I'm a Chelsea <laughs> I'm fan. I'm watching you closely. I, I love Jose Mourinho. You, <laughs> oh, you, do you? You got me. Of do course. You. Oh, do you. Sure. you got me here. Now, when he was at Tottenham, obviously <laughs> I had to wash my hands and walk away. But I will always have. Listen, the brother was in a Stormzy video. You can't hey. not love this man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't not love this man. Everybody, every Chelsea fan has a weakness for Jose Mourinho. And you know what you're doing. You're Bro, tapping at them buttons right now. I'm just asking I'm trying questions. to remain level-headed. <laughs> I'm trying to is, it's like that poison X. You're always good. That, that is an X that you're talking hey. about right there. And you know what you're doing. You're trying to, <laughs> but the thing is, you, you know the no, 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 for no, no, my no. health. The reason you know what I'm, I'm looking at is because he said that Potter, if he gets sacked at the end of the season, I'm thinking if, as you say, the last maybe 48 hours, I've been looking at Chelsea's window and I'm like, yo, I think I'm starting to see method to the madness. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of under 25 mm -hmm. top talents being signed and it's almost, I really feel like, too players. talented to fail, if that makes sense. You just need kind of the right coach. I think if Potter, let's say you try and let him implement, but things don't improve. If someone like Jose can come in and I feel like, I know we're saying, yeah, he might not be able to coach them and their egos and all of that. But I think if Jose sees a young group of hungry players who actually want to win, and if you look at a lot of the Chelsea squad, they're not serial winners, winners if yeah, that yeah. makes sense. I think he would love that challenge a little bit more. And I think there's almost, I think Jose has learned from everywhere he's been burnt. If he was to come back Chelsea for the <laughs> third time, I think there would be a chance of him maybe saying like, you know what? Dynasty I, time. I, yeah, dynasty time. Let me just win one title even for a third time and I can retire in peace. Uh, otherwise, Newcastle's there. Either way, we need Jose back in the Premier League, baby. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Listen, uh, it's a weakness of mine. What you're doing right now is very uh, devilish. Hey, listen, it's man, very listen. devilish. But I, I only had Jose for a short spell, bro. But what a spell! What a what spell! A man. Yeah. What a man! Wow. That that is for me one of one of my favorite managers of all time. Man. Nah, man, he's, I know you like him. Yeah, he's he's uh, definitely he's definitely one of the goats. Big Ash is also saying, uh, "Mad did little uh, did Pep little bro Chelsea when he sold you Sterling?" Truth is, um, Pep didn't rate Jesus and Zinni. I don't think that's <laughs> true. Um, Arteta plays them differently, so they look better. Again, don't think that's don't think true. That's true. Um, Jason says, my favorite memory is our zoo. What's that? Not too sure, you know. I'm not sure about that either. Not too sure. Yeah. Let's go back to the FA Cup and then we will go in more in depth uh, okay. on Chelsea. It's By the, the way, winners. it's half time. Um, Bristol City 2, West Brom 0 in the FA Cup. Ipswich 0, Burnley 0, Southampton 1 up at home to Blackpool. Fulham 0, Sunderland 1, Luton 0, Grimsby 1. And Rangers are actually playing St. Johnston in the SPL. They're 1 0 up. Who won it in 2000? Let's go. We'll go around. We'll start off at 2000. You should know this, Matisse. Oh, that's us. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. 2001, Dan Liverpool. Yeah. 2002. Romania. Two Arsenal, yeah. That was double, yeah. yeah double. 01, 02, double, yeah. United. I think, I think it was Arsenal no. again. No, no, no. no, no United won 03, 04 versus Millwall. United won it 03, didn't they? Because we didn't, we didn't win anything. Oh, it's Millwall, yeah. The 02, 03, 03, 03, 04, 04, United beat Millwall 3-0 in yeah, the yeah. final. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah, you well, said Millwall. Arsenal, Arsenal didn't win it 02, 03. 02. I don't think we did. Uh, 03, 04, United won it. And 04, 05, Arsenal, Arsenal won it. 05, 06, Liverpool. Liverpool. Mm. 07, Chelsea. Chelsea, Chelsea. yeah. We yeah. Six, that was Chelsea United. Both the Cups that year. Mm. Yeah. Both the domestic Cups.
Oh eight. Seven and eight. Oh eight. Who won it? Uh, bloody Portsmouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. No? Harry, oh, Harry Redknapp. Was it 08? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. not 08. 07, that was 0910, no, no, no. bruv. That was later. That was 0910. That was Linvoy Primus, Sol Campbell there and yeah. shit. Way later. Oh, eight, Who won it in 08 then? Was it, oh, it would, couldn't have been us again. I Did think Chelsea? it might have been Chelsea. I think, so. think? I think to, I, yeah, Chelsea, it beat, Chelsea beat United. In, o, think, in 08? In the, that, no, in 07, 07 we beat United. In 07. Was it 07? Because, yeah, 08, because we went... 08, because was that not the year where both... We lost the Champions League final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. lost the Champions League final, but you won the FA Cup, wasn't it? Yeah, I think you beat them Against in the FA Liverpool. Cup. No, 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 I think Chelsea won it. Chelsea won it 2008, I think. We lost Moscow. But yeah, no, we lost the FA Cup that year as well. I think it was to Man United. No, you lost the Champions League final to United. He was right. Portsmouth. Yeah, I told you. Oh, it was Portsmouth. Plus. Yeah, because we, we. I told you, man. We were, yeah, we had a. Harry, that was Harry, a sad. Oh, wait. Oh, nine. That was a sad. Uh, Chelsea. 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 That's beat Everton. Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah, that was a yeah. Nelka. Yeah, I remember. Oh, Lampard, ten. Yeah. Yellow kit. Ten. Chelsea. Ten would have been. I think that was Chelsea again. again. I think we did a double under Ancelotti. Yeah, you did. You did. Ancel Ancelotti double. Yeah. Uh, oh, nine. Ten. Yeah, double. Yeah. And, then and that would have been the year I think you beat Portsmouth. And eleven, twelve. You won it again. Against yeah, us. Because didn't yeah. Portsmouth win yeah, it one you, yeah. year and then get to the final versus you lot? Yeah, we beat them in the final. Yeah, that, yeah. that's where the confusion yeah, was. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And then yeah, yeah. 2013 Wigan, 2014 Arsenal against mm. Hull. Yeah. Mm. 2015, 2015 Arsenal indeed. versus Aston Villa. Yeah. Yeah, because they Cause did Villa too, beat us it? in the semis that year. Yeah. That was so annoying as well. Was that, the, was that the one where Villa took the lead or was that Hull? No, we hammered them. Hull. Yeah. No, Hull was No, Villa was the one where you. Hull were 2-0 up, bro. And then, yeah, I remember Hull was the one where yeah. I was like, Hull, Hull were 2-0 up. They were 2-0 up, and I was like, ah, they were going yeah, to get yeah, in their they drought. Won. And then mm. Ramsey and Cazorla. Wash. Yeah, Ram Ramsey, Cazorla, and... Um, Walcott, maybe? No, it was Ramsey. Ramsey, Ramsey has the legend. Koscielny. Yeah. Ramsey Koscielny has... Scored, Koscielny scored the equaliser. Ramsey scored the winner. Ramsey mm. has the legendary so, state. He does. He does. Because of those cups, literally. He's another one that should not have left Arsenal. Yeah. Yeah. Jesse Lingard, final yeah, Palace. Jesse Lingard, final. Oh, yeah, against Christian. Uh, was, was it a great finish, dancing. wasn't it, from him? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a great Alan finish. Alan Pardew was doing the dancing when they <sighs> went 1 0 up, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's under a great FA yeah. Cup moment. Of, 2017, has... Arsenal? Yeah. Yes. 18 was us. 18 was you. Conte, yeah. 19, Arsenal? Against mm. us. Yes. This COVID, no, no, that's no, 20. That was the one before. 20, no, no, that's 20. That's 20. 20 is we won it. We so won it. was 19, 18, 19. 18, 19. I swear I'm, Arsenal were there. I feel like that was City. City. When they hammered yeah, Watford. Yeah, City yeah, win one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hammered. Yeah, I think it was. They demolished Watford like 7 0 or something. 6 0. Embarrassing, really. Absolutely. 20 would have been 20. 20 would have been Arsenal. Now I'm just going through my defeats. So 20 was Arsenal. Leicester, Liverpool. <laughs> now I'm just going through my L's. Yeah, that is sad. <laughs> back to back to back. That's bad, bad. <laughs> Knowledge though, boys. I'm impressed, man. Yes, we just yes, made the last yes. uh, 23 winners for the FA Cup. Uh, let's go on to Chelsea then. Is their plan for the squad becoming a little bit clearer now? You mentioned it in the week. You're starting to Cam's see all the dots hop on board connecting. Well, Cam's is nah, listen. jumping on the bandwagon. But yeah. what do you feel? I mean, uh, is it, has it gone from scattergun to visionary? Or mm. is it still fairly scattergun? I don't think visionary is the right word. It's not. A, it's not a complicated strategy, is it? Do you know what I mean? We're gonna buy up the best under twenty three talents, and we're mm -hmm. gonna we're gonna give them long term contracts to avoid FFFP, FFP, mm -hmm. FFF, FFP, um, FFF. And then FFS. if they if they work out market value wise, <laughs> then they're gonna go up, and we're gonna keep them. And we're gonna hopefully win with them. And if they don't work out, then we hope to make a profit. And Badi Ashile, your guy. That's not an expensive transfer from 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 Monaco. Malo Gusto, yeah, 26 Gusto no. from from Leon, twenty six million pounds, mm -hmm. nineteen years old. That's not an ex, that's not a lot, you know, um, to invest in terms of the market value potentially going up. Maybe and on well. the six seven year contracts, I think they're incentivized as well. So if we don't make Champions League, they get less. If we do, they get more. Um, and of course, when inflation happens with the wages, it, again, it might not look too bad to have a Madrid mm -hmm. when he's twenty four, twenty five, or ninety two k a week. So. I think, yeah, the, the transfer strategy and where I'm judging them is from this moment. Because what I always said was, is that our recruitment team is only coming in now. And we still have some people still to come in for the next window, like Joe Shields is on garden and leave from Southampton. To judge Chelsea purely off of their first window, having no contacts and networking done with a whole new ownership and hierarchy in the summer and trying to chase other people's targets because we're behind in terms of groundwork. For everybody to kind of jump on the ownerships back and say, oh, he doesn't know what he's doing when he's replacing Rudiger, Christiansen, Lukaku, Timo Werner, and trying to rectify awful recruitment from Roman and Marino from years past was jumping the gun. I'm judging him from right now and, and, and then onwards when he's got people around him who know what they're doing. So mm. I think it is, it is pretty clear what we're trying to do. Whether it works is a different question. Because yeah. you, can, you can offer six, seven, eight-year contracts out 
But if these players bust, like I'm talking, you know, bust, bust, like kind of Kepa, where you're kind mm -hmm. of just constantly trying to revive and see what you can yeah, find, yeah, yeah. Then, then you're kind of screwed. So the yeah. one thing I will say though, is like when I did tweet out yesterday, I think I'm starting to connect the dots on what Bowley's doing. I didn't like how a lot of Chelsea fans are acting like, oh, you are late to the party. I was like, no, uh, please let's not act like Chelsea have had like this measured approach of we uh, knew that, no. The first window in the summer was, well, first window was, was all, a complete all over the place. scatter gun. Yeah, We're not going to deny that. It was and mad. even when this window first started, how you like, handled the Mudrick situation after letting Arsenal do all the tantalising and the teasing and then you look just step in last minute, it doesn't seem like a carefully thought out plan. Does that mm. make sense? But what I'm saying is what I'm seeing now is what you said there is all of that hoarding of the young talent, financially it's spread over a number of years and it's just a case of can you connect the dots really and truly? And the thing is, is I'm looking at it like, you got Reece James injured, now you have an actual quality replacement in Gusto. Oh, you get centre back, Fafana's out for a while, oh, no problem. I think I what skewed it for me was the signings of like Koulibaly and yeah, Aubameyang. Aubameyang, yes. I think some of those- Maybe Sterling, Sterling, those two as well. signings, then. Sterling as well, I will be a little bit. Sterling's been left in a little bit of a weird, weird situation, situation now. I still think he's part of it, purely I, because Pulisic and Ziyech for me would be first out the door. Facts. Yeah. I think that the, the, the reason for that kind of mixed messaging is Tuchel, right? Yeah. Tuchel is trying Tuchel, to, Tuchel is Tuchel trying to win part, now. Yeah. Tuchel's not part of what Bowie's trying to do long term. Mm -hmm. Tuchel mm -hmm. is about, I want to win now. I need this player right now to go to that next gear mm -hmm. to win. He's all about winning now. He mm -hmm. fits the Roman era. Yeah. He's the perfect Roman manager. Mm -hmm. Funnily enough, the perfect Roman manager comes in at the end of Roman's time. Roman's the guy ring. that's ready to win now, the guy that doesn't want to be involved in recruitment, you want to go and buy the players you want to get, go and get them. I'm not, I'm not asked. I just want to just have a group of players that are ready to go for it right now. And then when Bowie comes in, Bowie's He wants a whole at new... Whole different yeah, game. Vision, but, roadmap. <laughs> yeah, but because he's not in a situation where he can sack Tuchel, because obviously the fans absolutely love him. That's a Champions League winner. We've got super, super, super Tommy Tuchel. He knows exactly what we need. You have to kind of wait for him. You have to find out who he is first. Okay? Yeah. You don't really agree strategy-wise. And you have to wait for him to kind of build his own, you know. I think depth-wise, you know, you've got one of the strongest defences now, in my opinion. I mm. think with Mudrik and Felix as well, I think you've added almost like two what I call X-factor talents, yeah. where they can bring you They're something out of science. nothing. Yeah. But the thing is, is obviously people are looking at like, oh, Modric's only played 30 games. Yeah, Felix ain't really popped at Atletico. But I'm like, Stop if it, it does click, mm. this is the thing, which I was, you literally have a title challenging squad there, in my opinion, if you sign one or two midfielders. I would, I said, I tweeted that last night. I mean, I know we'll talk about Casado in a bit, but Chelsea from the top rope, is all the drama we need right now. I think if that deal, if Chelsea were to get someone like a Casado yeah. or an Enzo, for that, for that you're for taking me, the yeah. final piece of the jigsaw. For so, so for me, you have basically overhauled your entire squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I, see, I rate Casado very highly, but he's not a player that I would kind of overpay for because I do feel like his profile is out there. You can get that. cheaper. I Whereas agree Enzo that. Fernandez. Ooh. I, I don't know, but I'm just saying for what I for what I see from at Casado, his age as well. Yeah, 21. It, it is he is a special talent, but I do believe that you can you can scout and you can get someone who's going to cover the ground and do what Brian did. Box basically, box. yeah, exactly. Whereas Enzo Fernandez, you see that pass. Listen, that guy is very creative, man. He's just like the way that he can spray the passes around, the way that he gives you some some goals, mm. some creativity, some grit as well. We've seen that Argentina team if he needs to top back in. For me, that is the midfielder that I'm I'm ready to what, overpay for. What, what role would you say Enzo is? Would you say he's a six no, sitting in front eight. of the, he's an eight. Box eight. To box. So yeah. you would still need to you sign still a, need six, a six, then. six. I don't think is a I six. still don't think I've I seen think enough from Enzo. I think he's to a say box, that box, he box. No, the answer to your problem. I think he can play both. If I'm honest, we can we can we can put him there. And because Thomas Party, Thomas Party. He's he 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 can play the defensive midfield role, but he mm -hmm. can also play the eight role as well. Mm. It's but a bit like Basuma, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But he's come in put in that six role, and he's been immaculate. Do you think Casado is worth more than Declan Rice? Because at the moment, Declan Rice's price is kind of dropping slightly to like that seventy-five range. It'll probably work out to be around the same. Casado at 90, 80, You'd say you you you'd you'd pay up. Honestly, I would. Mm. I really, Oof. I would. This is. I'll be honest with you. I, I might right. sound crazy. But I, don't see, I don't see it. You see, I don't see you the see Casado Brian, noise. Yeah, you have to be careful. I think he's a good player. And <laughs> when I've seen him and like when I hear, oh, ball possessions one and all, you see that little breakdown on Twitter or whatever. I'm like, yeah, great. And But I remember Basuma dropping these same forms. And I'm not saying they're That's the same true. player. But I'm like, 
I know Basuma when he had to take that step up into a Spurs team, all of a sudden now I'm being told tactically he can't understand the game the same level. We're figuring out, is he a six? Is he an eight? And I, and that's the issue I'm having with Casado's well. I'm looking at him and I'm like, is he a six? Is he an eight? Because when I saw him at, for Ecuador at the World Cup, it was box to box, all yeah, action. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this. I feel like he's a, he's then, a I, then I see him at Brighton and he's a bit more sitting. And I'm like, this can work as well. So... I, I, do you know what? That's a good, that's a good comparison. That's, that's if why I want him. If you're going to play him in that role, and I think if you're going to play him next to party, next to party. I think that's Ooh. perfect. I think if you make him the six and be the sitter, I think that's where people are kind of misprofiling him a little bit. And I'm like, I don't see him as like a long-term defensive midfielder. Although I do think the defensive midfield position has evolved a little bit than you just being a sitter like an Ndidi. They've become a bit redundant nowadays. I do think you do need to be more in the Casado Enzo mold. But yeah. I don't know if he's worth that kind of money, in my opinion. I'm like, even no, Enzo were talking about crazy fees. It's crazy money. It's, like, it's crazy like, fees. Is this like a drought in the market? Because I remember, do you remember a few years back, fullbacks were like this, where yeah. you find one half decent one, 60 million, yeah. chill well, 50 million. Do you know million. who's out there like, that no one's talking about? And he almost went to Bournemouth and Bournemouth are trying to recruit like madmen. Enzo Lafitte. Bruh, bruh. Who, who was the founder? Football manager. I, no, <laughs> I saw this brother. I said to you last season, I was watching this random game and I was like, yo, who just, this is yeah, the yeah, me. I was yeah. like, it sounds kind of cool. Bro, <laughs> yeah. He's a baller. Bro, the you, worst thing is, he's techie. He's like five foot eight. Yeah, 22. Dribbling, yeah. passing. Yeah. And he's got that grit about him as well. So I'm like, he could play the 10, he could play the eight. The problem is, is I don't think he's top six ready. In you my don't opinion. think so? That's why when I hear clubs like Palace, Bournemouth, I think he goes there and, and he slots and, but there. But then, thing is, yeah, if he then goes there the, and then he shines, then there's an 80 million but price the tag is, on his head. He goes to one of these top six clubs, I feel like he could drown out or just become a perennial it's bench. A risk. I look at the Scott Parker situation a few yeah. years back when you lot signed him from Charlton. Yeah. Quality player, but went to Chelsea way mm -hmm. too soon. Way too yeah. It's a little bit But like it's that. one of those things where he you, comes to us, that's where he needs to be. We need a creative. Oh, so you guys are need. that club now. Yeah, but Perfect. then you, you do what they Perfect. did with Modric. You take him from Dinamo Zagreb and then we try and come for him and then you won't give us to him. My, my thing is with a player like that is that you, sometimes you have to take that gamble because if you do let them go to a, a Brighton or a Tottenham, see what I've done there? <laughs> nasty, nasty. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> I hear then, then you can't get them out because look how much they're, they're pricing up Casado. Like, the thing is with, the only reason why I actually started to look at Enzo Lafie is because, and I haven't like watched like loads of games. I've been just looking around statistics. You see my tweets. Yeah, I see, I see your <laughs> tweets as well. You're, you're, you're a good account to follow. I got a little uh, notification. Um, because we got linked with Matthias Nunes. I think Matthias Nunes is so overrated. It's not even funny. Really? Exactly. Oh. See you at your club. Clop, I'm, I don't, clop, I don't see it. Clop hype. Well, Matthias Nunes is so I don't so see it. Like, I don't see it. I went into relax. a sport I don't, in no, Lisbon. No, no, I went into a sport in Lisbon statistics. I legit don't what? see it. Hey. hey. This guy. What is it that's make, that makes him special? Him. Well, the thing I don't understand is that Wolves bought him for Portuguese 40 mil and they're trying cheek. to sell him to us for 55. How Portuguese loftus cheek, bro. I'm telling time. you, Portuguese loftus cheek. He can carry the ball a little bit. That's oh, a bit of an insult, to be fair. No, bro, nah, um, let's, so let's continue the Chelsea chat, though. What else happens before this window shot? So obviously transfer deadline day on Tuesday night and then what happens in the summer as well? Um, deadline, to be honest, I don't think Casado's going anywhere. That's my prediction that I put up I on, on my so. channel. I think he's going to stay there. I think I Brighton think are going to hold him down and say, listen, I don't care if you've got 10 siblings, you're going to hold that 5k a week statement. and you're going to sit there and you're going to make it work. <laughs> to go back to your team after a statement like that is, Yo, I wouldn't even I let him back in the team. Are you, not, are you not surprised by that as well? That's like Bro, we, did, we reacted to it last night. I've on seen Instagram. via Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I've word, never sorry? seen it. I've never seen a Twitter request via Twitter and Instagram. That's the new agents. Like, you could tell it was an agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was like, if, yeah, yeah. Moses. I was like, like he put out the statement as if the bid had been accepted and the medical the deal had been done. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, I think, bro, I think the bid got rejected. This, this is, yeah. I'm holding up the shirt to the yeah. new club bro, tomorrow, I, I probably. Bro, I picked apart that statement. <laughs> I, I thought, let me, let me pick apart it, because this, this is fun. Is and I picked it apart in my video, and I said, you know what? This statement, first of all, you've tried to do the guilt trip thing with the 10 siblings. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. So that's a bit mad. I'm poor, I need the old X Factor story. I love Mr. Bloom and the family for the opportunity. Thank you so much. I play with my heart. Okay, so I was like, right, so we got the guilt. We got the manipulation. That's tick box number one. Yeah. Then I went to the whole, oh yeah, I would like to bring in a transfer record. I said, hold on yeah. a second. Ain't nobody agreed not the for your ass. <laughs> You're gonna eat. You're gonna get my replacement. Would, You're gonna move on. I would love I like, to get number two. You're almost saying like oh. they're saying, well, we haven't accepted it, and he's like, no, this is a very good offer. You yeah. will accept you will this for me, exactly. and I will go. <laughs> Yeah, I can't see it. There's I would no love to to the club that saved him basically from from you know playing at the top level a year ago. Yeah, 
I mean, I, I could not Wait, get my head around him? it. Did they not just sign a year him over ago? This? A year ago. No, so they, so they, they signed him, and then they loaned him out. They signed him, then they loaned him out for six months, and then basically he was balling out where he where they loaned him out where they loaned him out to, and they brought him back, and mm. he's pretty much been a mainstay yeah. ever since. I just so. uh, can't get my head around it. But summer and the uh, window still to go. I know there's ch- typical Chelsea style to still get business done, but I say we, I say that we're done now. In my we opinion, done? I think we I think we are. Unless we go and panic by and get a midfielder, and I, which I really don't want us to do. I haven't liked the links recently. Onana at Everton, oh, um, Gordon last summer. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, Matthias Nunes. I don't like these links. Like for Matthias me, Andre Santos is 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 balling out in the under twenties for Brazil. We signed him for like ten million euros or something like that. Like, mm. I'm not saying he's ready, but if you've got these players that have the potential to, to be top players, actually use them, go through their growing pains. Lewis Hall at Anfield, he gave the ball away loads of times. I'm cool with that because at the end of the day, at least he's developing and learning he looks along a the good way. Player. Yeah, he's a good player. I'd rather do that than start bringing in these players that are decent and then they're blocking the path again and then we're in the same situation a year's time where they're not good enough to actually do what we need to do. Yeah. So. I see Chelsea fans gassing up some Andre Santos team talk. Bro, every time I wake up, he scores. Like, oh. <laughs> Are we oh, here yeah. already yeah. again, yeah? <laughs> and, and gassing obviously. up team talks. Good God. <laughs> and with the signings that are coming in both now and in the summer, with your chest, would you say that Chelsea are title challengers next season? Surely, no. with all, but how though? With all the money that's exactly. been spent, good point. you have to have that pressure on you as soon as yeah. you start. You can't spend what? Yeah, I mean, mil? yeah, no, I get you. Seven hundred mil since August. Yeah, yeah, I think you're overdoing it. Um, By about fifty <laughs> mil. But um, Caicedo could, could. No, could yeah, take I mean, six hundred m sounds about right. Yeah, we should, we should be, we should be title contenders. But I, I just want to see that midfield. That midfield rebuild is critical for that because if, if you, if you tell me that, okay. We've spent this much, but you're still going to go next season and rely on Kante, rely on Jorginho, rely on Kovacic. Then no, you, we're gonna we're gonna get. Bit Surely all those run. guys have got to take a bit of a back seat now, if not leave. Some of them need to leave. Two of them have to go. Yeah. Yeah. Jorginho and Kante have to go. Have to oh, for sure, three. yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Um, have so their contracts been renewed? Um, no, not yet. Kante's so expired. they're expiring in the summer. Yeah. Oh, they're gone. You, then. you, you, need, you Oh, there you go. Free they're gone. Some wages. Some Jorginho's sh- definitely going back to Italy. Yeah, 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 yeah. there's some oh, shopping yeah. to be done. For me, I would. Um, I would 100% let a lot of players go. Like Loftus Cheek, I would let him go. As much as I love him, I'd let him go. He should have gone. Though. Gall- gone Gallagher, like I'd be getting, getting Gallagher to Crystal Palace on a nice 50 M's, bringing that money for FFP again, looking Ooh. great. Um, Ziyech, Pulisic, I'd be moving them on for the betterment of their own. How much doy? Um, I think when it comes to how much when we're seeing the state of Europe and the amount of the lack of money, I think we've spent more than all the top five divisions put Combined, together. Yeah. Then... You know, we have to understand that, you know, You're there's hard else. times out here. So if we have to accept, you know, instalments or whatever, we have to make these deals happen. We're going to have to take hits. So Marina's not here, so open, open session. Yeah, just, just so title challenges next season, yes or no? <laughs> Ask me again. Um, no, 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 no. I'm ask asking you now. Mm. No, because I know you're looking. Even for, with the plane. I know, I know, I know you're looking for your. I know you're looking for your clip. Yeah. Mm. Your clip. <laughs> this, is what, this, is what this is about. You need your clip. It does say here. Can, can yeah, exactly. You, you need your. Which camera am I looking exactly. to? You need your clip. <laughs> you ain't gonna get it. You ain't gonna get it. <laughs> ask me again. I'm sure, we can point. clip something up to make it sound <laughs> That's like a valid that. Valid question. Though. Um, but obviously, we, we've again been speaking about uh, Caicedo, how he was bought for 3.5 million. Apparently. Valued at 80 million. Now you look at Kukurea, bought for 16, sold for 60. Ben White, bought for five, sold for 50. Trossard, bought for 13, sold for 27. And Basuma, bought for 13, sold for 25. Are Brighton one of the smartest clubs in the Premier League with their transfer policy? Do you think that, I mean, the numbers speak for themselves. The yeah, business is immaculate yes. at board level here. You'd have to say yes. Like you, they, they need to give like a scouting 101 to the rest of the Premier League basically because they're doing something that other teams aren't doing and it's not like these plays that they're producing are duds maybe except for Basuma I don't think he's a dud I just think the team the team he's gone to maybe not so great but all of these players they're good players like people were balking at Ben White 50 M's that's so expensive whoa Arsenal how can you believe Arsenal spent 50 great buy could win the league Worth the money. Yeah. Like, what, in, super intelligent player, great defender. 
being a revelation at right back. That's not even his main position. Yeah. When you so, play well, people always forget the feet. Yeah. I, I think they're going through a good phase, and I think every couple of years we see this in the Premier League. Southampton. I think we saw well. Leicester were probably the club before this, who I think for about four years you could Southampton. say had great Southampton, Southampton, big Southampton would have Southampton. four or five years before players. that. Yeah, <laughs> Schneider. So I think, and, yeah, yeah, Van, yeah, I, think I think every three or four years you get one club that's just gone through. The interesting thing for me is how long Brighton will be able to keep it up. Is it a thing where they have like a money ball formula per se where they look at other smaller leagues whether it's the Ecuadorian league and things like that and they scout from there or is it a thing where now that Chelsea have pretty much taken that entire backroom staff the head of scout whatever Chelsea now take that over I think they're alright I think so, they've got some sort of software apparently they were saying that it's actually not it's, it's all they need is bloom the guy that he mentioned in his statement, all they need is Bloom and they're good in terms of their recruitment. Like mm. he's got, I don't know, some sort of database software that they're using. See, algorithm, innit? Yeah. I knew it. There's the some money. There's some money. It's not the individual. Because there is we've no, taken the individuals think, thinking it's the individual. Arsenal for the past, I think, three, four seasons have been trying, have been doing that as well, basically. Yeah. Which is how I think even Woodrick popped signing. up on radars yeah. because I'm like, there's some of these players who, I don't know what scouting network you're using, but this is some real obscure marketing. Guys are in the Moldovan league and <laughs> Belarusian league getting yeah. picked up and I'm like, nah, this is, this is, that is top tier scouting and you have to give that DNA or something. I think that's yeah. the company. It's, it's yeah. crazy. Absolutely crazy. So you have to give them their dues. It is their time now, but how long do these things go on for? Cause the well does always dry up. Yeah. And then for me, it's a case of, I always say you want to keep at least two or three of those core pieces. Yeah. I think like when, Southampton did well to hold on to Lalana for as long as they did. Ward Prowse now, I feel like clinging on to him has pretty much kept them in pr Premier League for a couple of years, let's be yeah. honest. So you want to be careful not to sell too much of that talent mm. and still keep one or two of it. McAllister will be interested in the summer. I know he just signed That's, a new contract. I can't lie to you. World Cup medal. I said, said Basuma, Casado, McAllister. I said, when that trio falls down, mm. Basuma was the first one in the summer. Casado's looking now. That's when you start looking at Brighton like, all right, let's see what you but got cooking they'll find. next. They've got the conveyor belt. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be curious to see. They'll bring one in. Jakub Muda, I remember popped up out of nowhere, some Polish wonder kid last year. This year you've had Matoma. Um, they've got yes. some next. Ferguson. Yeah. Yeah. You and Ferguson. I can't remember his name, but there's like this Venezuelan kid they've got as well. He's Estupinian. English. No, not yeah. opinion. There's elite. another one, young little winger. But um, yeah, anyway, Brighton fans will let me know. Ben was mentioning him uh, oh, yeah. two weeks ago or something yeah. like that. But oh, okay, yeah, yeah, they've got a conveyor yeah, he belt. Knows, anyway. He knows. Um, a so belt. it's true. Everyone is talking about Brighton. And there was an interesting clip from Best of Enemies where they spoke just about that. Let's see it. Brighton, yeah, I'll tell you, that club, right, the smartest club in the Premier League. Yep. They, they bought yeah, that Matoma, mind. I think it's yep. three million pounds. Yep. Really? And now man's talking about 50, 60 million yep. for him. Who's the they bought that Casadio, or Casadio, mm. 5 million. Mm -hmm. He you could go for 70, we 75. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cucurella. Right. Cucurella. 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 Next White. to nothing, 62 million. Ben White. Mm -hmm. Ben, ben White, White, I think yours decent the, money. The, 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 the money they yet? get. What, Basuma? Yeah. I'm happy with Basuma. Basuma I'm happy with million. the Basuma signing, yeah. But let me tell you this, yeah. It's like the Conte system plays a big... Like, when I saw... Ashley Young at Mars funeral, yeah, he was explaining to me yeah. what Conte does to players, innit? Yeah. He goes, yes, you can get you maybe like trophies or a league in like a season and that, but it's not sustainable what he does, innit? He burns players out, okay. he runs them to the ground, this, that yeah, and the other, yeah, and then yeah. players don't start believing. So if it doesn't work, you get me? So if okay. it works, yeah, they might go into the second season, but if it does Robbie and Expressions talking gloriously there about Brighton as they deserve. Uh, the next topic for the day, just before we jump into the Super Chats, Will Newcastle, and again, I didn't write this, right? Just so you know. Will Newcastle replace Liverpool and Tottenham as the new top club with their spending power? We know that they've just agreed a £45 million deal for Anthony Gordon from Everton. Whether that's right or wrong, again, let us know in the comments. But in a recent interview with Sky Sports, Bruno Guimaraes has stated that he's fallen in love with the club and Eddie Howe. Um, is... Statements like that from players like him going to attract more top players to join. And how long is it before we see Newcastle really becoming a mainstay in that kind of top four to top six, if not higher? If they qualify for the Champions League. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The progress has been... They're already there. Be mad. They're, yeah, I, they're, they're already they're there. there. I think they're already there, like, in my They're opinion. way ahead of where... Schedule. Like, they're way ahead of schedule. You look at a lot of the times though with clubs who are newly bought and things like that, they want to build a fan base. 
Newcastle have had that way in. They already had they, that. There. They they want to build a new stadium. Newcastle have a, yeah. one of the biggest stadiums, and, and it's like <laughs> it's literally all they've been waiting for is that financials to come in. It's a one-team city. The support is there. The stadium is there. Now they have the money, and I feel like they've got a good manager. They've built some core pieces to the team, a spine that they can kind of build around. Listen, if they can add one or two more pieces, I don't know if Gordon is really the piece. Maybe I would have looked at this January. He's the Eddie Howe for that piece. much as well. <coughs> He's an that's, Eddie Howe piece. Yeah. That's like, what I was gonna say. Eddie Howe will make similar better. like Trippier, yeah. like Target, like Burn. You look at them and you're like, uh, what are they gonna do? Even Wood. Yeah. They all came in and played a role in what they had to do, mm -hmm. and I think that's one thing we've seen with this Newcastle takeover is. Everyone was thinking, oh, it's going to be Mbappe links the next week. They've actually been very smart about how Steve. they recruit as well. Yeah. And I res the fact that they've done that and they're still in this r top four race or whatever, incredible. They now secure Champions League football. What appeal are you missing? You've got the stadium, you've got the fan base, you've got the money, you've got Champions League football, you've got a decent team to play with. Yeah. And the manager's not playing negative, ugly football. He's actually trying to play on the front foot good football. Yeah. But then also, when we need it, we can sit back and play the low block thing as well. And the time I, I, wasting. They're, and they're, listen, they're, they're building something there, to be fair. And it's, mm. people are talking about when is it going to happen? You're seeing it right before your eyes, which is why I tell everyone, stop doing this. Oh, Newcastle are cute. Look at them coming up. Bro, they're going <laughs> to be taking your food off your plate soon. <laughs> and good. I'll be asking you, how nice <laughs> does it feel? <laughs> I like point. Newcastle, man. And don't I did do say. that. I like don't Newcastle. Do it's a good don't city. Do yeah, that. Yeah, good vibe. The you. bellies are out on the cameras and whatnot. Ooh. Qualifications when for when they're smashing your head back, back to back <laughs> seasons and back to back years. You, it's I'll like, be asking you, how does I it don't feel? Like it's, it's a good I point. Need, we need to put them in their places. <laughs> do you know what? Yeah? Time, it used to be the richest club in here. Soon I know, you, man. Soon you'll be looking like paupers. No, we we still top three. I mean, we still top three. My my thing is Newcastle is that. I always say, if I could have picked anyone, because this was always going to happen, someone was always going to enter the... It's, it, it, it's, it's, it's tradition in football that someone enters yeah. the table. The round table doesn't stay the same. Do you know what I'm saying? There's always going to be a new, a new kid in the class. New challenge. If I could have picked any new kid in the class... It would be them. That kid. That kid. They deserve it. For everything that they've gone through with Mike Ashley, and like you say, they already had the stadium, they got the fan base. We don't, we're not, no one's going to be making them Manchester City jokes with them. Do you know what I mean? They deserve it. So... I already knew this was coming. We all know the Premier League is ridiculously competitive. When Bournemouth are outbidding AC Milan, it's a joke. you know this Premier League is, is, is going somewhere. So you better just buckle up and enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? It's why I've started to just say, do you know what? Brighton, Brentford, Fulham, enjoy. Enjoy. At our expense, enjoy. Do what you're doing because I, I know that we will have to respond and we are responding with money and people are laughing now like, oh, how could you spend this much money? Everybody's going to have to spend this much money. Yeah. So... I'm but just, the thing is, the first ones I to think do just it. to go back to your question, the biggest club in trouble is us. Let's be honest about it. You say Liverpool, I don't know why they'll, they'll be Liverpool, Liverpool in there. Well, they're, they're Spurs are the base, base one, I think. 100 they've tried. No, it's not I think the base. Liverpool, Liverpool will always have... No, to bait me, they've oh, tried to yeah. bait me. Yeah, but Liverpool, Liverpool will always have like prestige, history, <laughs> yeah. like some kind of allure to attract players. For Spurs, our ability to attract players depended a lot on qualification for Champions League. We now don't start getting that. We also don't you have can't the funny Newcastle the, financially. We, yeah, either. we can't match a lot of people for money, and then it's like you're, you've got a squad that's pretty much, in my opinion, needing a lot of turnover, and a manager that's potentially on his way out. So there's going to be a lot of transition over the next year or two, and I think we could be the biggest sufferers of that, bro. You need to get. I think as well, right? You need to get them Qatari owners in ASAP. Like we're the only ASAP. club amongst that top six or seven that are not spending to the same degree. And that's transfers, uh, wages, in any capacity. You look at even net spend. I know Liverpool fans love to brag about their net yep. spend. Bro, we're bottom five over the last six or seven years. Mm. But that should not be a club in the top six, should not be in the bottom yeah. five of Great net stadium, spend. No. It's, and that's it. Guess Great what? Beers. More known for an entertainment facility now. People are saying thank you for the NFL. Thank you for the WizKid shows. This ain't what we're here for, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, yep. You're just doing it differently. I respect it. It's, I don't. I don't. I don't, brother. I, I like your problem, point, man. though, about Newcastle soon taking food off your plate because I think the other night I said after the they beat Southampton, who have just scored again, by the way, they're now 2-0 up at home to Blackpool. Nice. Uh, Perot with his second goal. But after they beat Southampton, I was going, do you know what? I'd love Newcastle to win this trophy. I think you guys are looking in, at all in wrong. In two years, I won't be saying that. I think you guys are looking all wrong. I do want them to win the we, Cup. We are... We are sitting in a league with, let's use the, the siblings example, right? Ten siblings. You're not going to get all of that food. It's not possible. You're not eating all that food. It's going to be separated and, and, and kind of, you know, given to him, given to her. Given. So I would rather Newcastle eat. It's just another team to rival you, 
rival you, rival Man United, rival Liverpool, teams that I genuinely don't like. It, it's, you know, it's just another team to go in there and say, if we can't fight that battle one year, you go, you go handle business. <laughs> Look at Man City right now. I've been wishing and hoping Man City to, to take, take down Arsenal for, for, for months. Imagine if Newcastle were there. I would have two, two teams in the race. It's just, it's, it's, it's just easier for me. It makes my life easier. We're not going to consistently be there. This is not how football works at the moment in this league. So I need as much teams as I can tolerate up there to say, I, you know, I've got a soft spot for you. Go and do what you're doing yeah, and we'll yeah, be back yeah, next yeah. year. It has to be like that. No, I get it. Okay. Good point. <laughs> also, Fulham have scored an equaliser. It's Tom Kenny, the captain at home to Sunderland in the FA Cup. All of these games can go to replays. Am I right in saying that? Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, so plenty of replays on the card potentially. Um, let's go now to Everton. We mentioned there that Anthony Gordon has left. We've heard Everton fans in the last day or two saying Anthony Gordon's the worst number 10 in Everton's history. Seven goals in 82 games, a lot of them deflections as well. Sean Dyche <laughs> goes to Everton. He Deflection. signs. Um, how do you think he fares there? Does he keep them up is the main question, but does he also improve the mood? Does he fix the, the ta tactics, formations, style of play? What does he do and what does he not do at Everton? Mm, I think it's more, he actually helps Everton fans stay grounded. Because for Sean Dyche to come in, yes. Manage expectations, yeah. almost. Like this, yes, I know people have been talking about him, like one of the best for what he did at Burnley, but the guy coached Burnley and helped them stay, in, his job was to help them stay in the Premier League so this has got to, if Everton fans didn't realise it already, this has got to tell, tell them, you guys are a bargain basement team that needs to, accept, that needs to accept it, allow a manager to come in, <laughs> treat you like a bargain basement team and build from the ground up. No. So I, f I think it's a good appointment, but I don't see him, I honestly don't see him keeping help them keep, keeping them up. Do you not? I, because I, I, if I'm honest, I before... He was announced, I was pretty certain whoever they got, they'd go down. But when his name was involved, yeah. I think actually they'll probably stay up now. Someone who's experienced in those kind of battles, in my opinion, I think you look at the gap between the bottom teams as well. I think it's like three points between mm -hmm. yeah. 14th to bottom. But then I feel like it's almost one year too late, in my opinion. I remember last year when Everton was struggling, I said, get rid of Lampard then. But now if you're going to kind of stick with Lampard, see it out. Mm. Deitch, I feel like, is one of those, as you said, he's coming to stabilise things. And the one thing he did at Burnley was create a culture of, all right, people act like, as well, Burnley were perennial relegation fighters. I remember there was a couple of seasons yeah. where they finished 10th. One yeah. year, I think they were, was qualified he, for Europa. They, they were in it, I believe. Yeah, they, they were. were in it. So I'm like, I don't know. But he's always built his team to be robust, kind of hard to break down. And I think one thing Everton have lost over the last couple of years, their identity. Yeah. They, they tried to almost, were almost that team just outside the, the big teams always able to attract decent players always to play a decent brand of football but still be hard to break down i think they've lost all of that now yeah. and it's been bad management from year after year after year and i think someone like daichu you know what you're getting it's exactly what it says on the tin come in give him two three years even if you go down he's the kind of manager i would stick with yeah 100%. let him build you back up i've seen him build record breaking burnley sides top scorers in championship yeah. so there's no doubt he could bring a team of everton back yeah. but then also bring them, bring them back and back. be solid once they do come back do, two, do, two, do, two, do two goals as well sorry just to interrupt um blackpool have, have got a goal back against southampton Ooh, um, charlie and, patino yeah on, and also luton have gone two one up against grinsby as well um in their game so Two goals in the FA Cup there in quick succession. Um, yeah, about 25 minutes Steel. remaining for this round of the FA Cup. But yes, Patina, Arsenal fans will be very aware of that nice. name uh, as well. Um, let's move on then. What else should we talk about? Again, keep your favourite FA Cup moments, your Got biggest ups there in the well. comments. And we'll get into a couple of Super Chats now. Um, LJ Brown I've already read this one in my head but it didn't really make too much sense but it is what it is thank you for the super chat he says Matisse that ain't gonna get it um, Striker is watching Tossin watch him he's a little um, finger of YouTube creators with his anti-Arsenal roundtable it, it didn't make too much sense there but I get the gist of it basically keep an eye on me um, 
apparently I'm an anti-Arsenal. Um, I, mm. I am. I'm a Chelsea fan. I don't get why people get confused by that. Like, if I wasn't... I'm anti-Chelsea. Yeah, anti if, I, if I wasn't, player. would I be a, a, a real fan of, of my club? I'm, yeah, it's fine. I'm, I'm, also, I'm very much anti-Chelsea too. Yes, oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> goal for Grimsby, by the way. Another goal too. Oh, nice. wow. Flown in there. Wow. Down at, uh, Luton. at Luton. So Grimsby having a great day out so Mad far. Mad comeback. Magic um, of the cup, people. Patrick says, if you go on transfer market, you'll see Spurs spend level is level with Arsenal and Liverpool since Arteta took over exactly. and not even massively off C. Exactly. When is that? Since Apparently Arteta you're took trying over. to play this game of we're not that, we ain't got the money to compete. I sent, I sent no. something <laughs> since to Arteta took over. That's what, 2018, it. right? Mm. And let's have a look at that spending, shall we? We're talking Endombele, 65 million. We're talking Giovanni Lo Celso. Yeah, but you still spent the money. Still spent the Brother, names. it might be it's duds, been but... bad spends. And the thing is, it's still, that, and, 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 and I love this still. You guys want to provide context like that. You see that spending is after, uh, do you want to look at the five-year oh, yeah, spending I, before that? I saw the, yeah, Because yeah. there was staleness, and yeah. that is almost like an overreaction spent more than from Arsenal, that staleness. Mm. I get that, but the last two summer windows, you've been one of the highest spenders outside of Chelsea. That's true. Well, not. That's true. Then what? <laughs> no, no, but what? <laughs> what I'm so getting, I'm saying we have spent. We have, have spent in the last. We, we, no, the last we have years. spent in the last two or three years. But that's been for me an overcompensation and <clears> over <throat> what the last five years before that was. And also, if you look at every other top team, you're saying we're spending the same as Arsenal. Rightly so, because you're challenging for the title. That's what top teams are supposed to do year in, year out. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to go through five years where you're actually progressing, not spending, and then once that project falls by the wayside you're playing scattergun with hey Nuno who do you want hey hey Jose who do you want hey Conte yeah. who do you want come on I'll give you that come on we're talking about playing in the FA Cup today away at Preston, Preston. six o'clock can Preston cause an upset here of course they can it's Tottenham Hotspurs come on man bro we, we've seen come Norwich on. we've seen yeah. Middlesbrough but inshallah we have something for them today. No. We got some for them. So for me, this is, this <coughs> this is, is the upset. biggest opportunity for us to win a trophy with Conte as yeah. well. I feel like we can't let anything Going out I, strong I don't want to see a weakened <laughs> side, no B team, anything. This is a serious yeah. chance to win a trophy. Don't take this lightheartedly, in my opinion. No, you can't. Like, cannot, literally, can't Arsenal play if, City. If, if, yeah, that's already yeah, been 100%. Liverpool go away to Brighton. We're already out. Um, you know, Newcastle are it's out. It's a big, this is a big massive, massive, massive to be going even, all even out the way, this even the way the league, the league cup turned out this year. I'm looking at the semi final, and I'm like, my God, man, like yeah, we fumbled have been that. Used. So yeah. silly. And it's just these are the types of opportunities where, like, Preston, don't take your foot off the pedal. I remember last year we lost as well. I can't even remember to who, but some tedious game. But it always, it always seems to be the case where fourth <coughs> or fifth round these seem to be the the trip up rounds if it does happen. Yeah. I think with some of the big teams dropping out. Listen, give me top four in the FA Cup. I think I will love it. Pedro Porro. I think I deserve. <laughs> Arnau Juma, uh, Dan Juma, can they save Tottenham season? Hell no. We're going to need more than that, bruv. I said the same issues we had in the summer are the same issues we have now. We need two centre-backs, a right wing-back or a right-back. Pedro Porro wrapped up yet? Huh? Pedro. Uh, no, apparently they want to let him play the League Cup final tonight. Let's and then, out of a bank. yeah, go out, pick and up your little trophy, and then come the next day. Like so, your fourth right back or something. Yeah, yeah, basically, that's how bad the transition has been since Kyle Walker. We have had Trippier, we have had Aurier, we have had Foyth, we have had Doherty, we have had Emerson, we have had Spence. <laughs> we are six right backs deep, still no better. So I'm hoping yeah. Poro. For me, I think he's one of the few players who, when he played against us in the Champions League this year, Good. looked a cut above. Yeah. I think every time I've seen Sportingism play, I'm like, yo. That's the kind of right it's back, be the time. profile you I want. Think so I think him, but destiny next does season. A regular one. <laughs> that's the other thing. Mm. Yeah. Regulon was looking good was before he went to Tottenham. Yeah. And the thing is, is I, I think Regulon just Man, lost yeah. Yeah. injury, confidence. It was a mishmash of things. And then manager changes as well. And they will have a preference for like Sessegnon or a Perisic or something like that. So he just fell by the wayside. Mm. But uh, uh, listen, we, we've had many things to address. I didn't expect Dan Juma to come in. But I love him coming in because he's a player I like. Good 1v1, good contributes. I think Son needs bench. A little bit out of favour. And going yes, to Everton. the most well. important thing provides competition for Son, who has been too comfortable in the team and completely fell off the How face of the earth this season year. For him? I think he's got five, and they both came in two games, if I'm not mm. mistaken. Mm. Um, hat-trick one game. Yeah, the hat-trick one, and then I think there was... 
a brace against in the Champions League Palace. or something like that. Yeah, he scored against yeah. Palace. He scored a goal against Palace. One, yeah. one against Palace. Yeah, one against Palace. five or six Would goals. Would Conte anyway. walk away before the end of the season if they, let's say, if you're saying that this is maybe their most likely trophy that they could win? If no, they lose Conte tonight, I, th I, I don't think Conte. Walk I don't think Conte this? walks. I think it becomes a case of if things get really bad, I allow we get dumped at the FA Cup, embarrassed at the Champions League, and we're like sixth, seventh, eighth. Then I can see maybe Levy sacking him. In which case, it's like, why didn't you just get this done in January if you knew he wasn't yeah. going to sign a new deal? So that would be more egg on the board's face, if anything. Mm. But I don't think Conte will walk away. I think now he's here. He's like, I'm going to see it to the end of the season. And that's why I said, give him a few of the pieces that he needs in January. But those that doesn't just mean... Oh, for Conte, you know this squad needs centre-backs. You know this squad needs a right-back. Address those problems, Conte or not. And then what that will do is put you in a better position for the second half of the season, finish it out with a top four, and if you can go and grab an FA Cup, brothers, I'll be a content man. There you go. Matisse, what are the comments there? Um, this Super Chats from Jason says, Ma, will there be any talking tactics for Champions League games? I don't know as of yet, but I hope so. I think it would be a, a great opportunity to cover those games. I've been watching more. I've become a football man, actually, um, recently. I've been watching a lot of Europe. European you have games. been. So I'll actually be, I'll be ready to comment on, on all European matters. Um, no, Conte wants money, um, says O'Neill. Conte <laughs> going to fix Juventus, says Jim. I can see that. In the summer, for sure. I've already said that. Yeah. Allegri for me, I don't know, man. He's he's he's, he's one, not of, the, been, he's one not. of the biggest frauds out there. He's but, not um, been. He's not been as good. He's as a man who takes well. credit for Ancelotti's AC Milan team, Conte's Juve team, and has earned the title of a top coach off the back of credit, other man. people's credit. Hey, is he Enrique? I, I'm just. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Enrique actually has a philosophy and idea. Um, Allegri just plays defensive midfielders out wide, so. He put Chiesa at right wing back the other Bro, day. Bro, really Chiesa right wing back. I see Weston McKinney playing left mid. He might be off to Leeds. Yeah. On Leeds. Over. He, Time race is pretty McKinney. much over, it looks like, in that league. Yeah, maybe, it's maybe. Napoli. After what happened Napoli's with AC Milan. Sure. Imagine Napoli, Napoli and Arsenal winning the league. Oh, if Napoli win it, I'd be so happy. I'd be so super happy. That's my team. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like the year it. after Maradona dies, Argentina yeah. win the World Cup. Napoli win the league. And Barcelona could win the La Liga as well. And Napoli could be dark horses in the Champions League. The, yeah, way, the, the football that they're playing yeah, and the thing is they've, beat had, them big, they've, at Anfield they've had big injuries as well they slapped, they slapped us 4-1 yeah. <laughs> and, and, and it should have been like it should have been like 9-0 or something that game they, yeah, it this guy like always tries it you know I'm have you noticed guy, he's bro. always tried it and I'm just like no 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 no, 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 no. But he's, <laughs> but he's, he's, he's stating facts Liverpool did beat him then. <laughs> we did beat them did they already, so, I think they so already qualified Inter. from the group. So did Inter. Do. I think Napoli uh, no, 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 they, they had not qualified. No, at the time. It, was, no. it was the second last. Yeah, game. but then Inter also game. beat Napoli at the start of the um, okay. Serie A. <laughs> <laughs> Napoli's record against the English teams though is frightening, especially at their yeah, fire. yeah. In the you, Diego you know where you do have a chance is, is Real Madrid, because I've been watching Apparently them Mendy's as well. Out as well for some time at left back. But I watched them against Camavinga. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They haven't been good. They've been awful. Camavinga at left back. You don't know. No, I saw him uh, play left back hey, at the World Cup, hey, but I was impressed. Right, bro, what was that? You saw the other day, I saw him the other day. The other day, oh bro. my goodness. <laughs> Madrid fans are saying we're glad the number 12 was staying at left back. Zian, Alan Marcelo Zian used to be number 12, innit? Yeah. yeah. Bro, Camavinga at left back, I'm with it. Yeah, Barcelona, yeah. by the way, the just scored a very important goal at the top of La Liga. They are now 1-0 up away. Pedro. Do Girona and Pedri with the winner. Come of the hour, come of the man mm. for Pedri. But I watched uh, Real Atleti the other night and I wasn't mm. impressed by the, that, by the general standard of both. Teams both teams, yeah, both teams aren't playing well. Madrid do what Madrid do. They yeah. wait till 10 minutes before then they're about to lose and they go on to win. Yeah. You, and again, they do it Rodrigo time and time again. They've pretty much been on a hangover for me. I, yeah. I, they've not looked good most of the season so far, to mm. be honest. Like, but I think if I look at their past, if I look at their past two games, they're, sl they're starting to get back into it. But... I think the first 90 minutes, I didn't watch it. Benzema's not really been firing no, on all no. cylinders. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny has any Vinny's Vinny's been in and out. Yeah. Too well as well. I think they used to need to use maybe Rodrigo more. He came on and scored an unbelievable yeah, goal. Yeah, the footwork the goal, was mad, isn't it? Oh my goodness, Oof. the goal that he scored was Rodrigo needs outrageous. to be a starter, in my opinion. You could see point. how that team could probably could do with some new additions as well. I, you could see why they wanted Mbappe. I feel like it needs freshening up <sighs> a little bit. A still there. You know I mean? Yeah, the, since the bench was wild. It's their wild. fullbacks, though. They need yeah. they, they need to refresh Nacho. their fullbacks. Yeah, yeah. the bench Carver was Carver Carver. Carver. <laughs> Yeah. 
2023. Ferland Mendy's Trust good, me. but they need like oh my god like another Marcelo option. That's gonna bomb. Yeah, down, they so. need another option. Yeah. Well, there are 15 minutes to go until these three o'clock games finish. Um, let's keep the comments coming in around what is your favourite FA Cup moment? What is your outstanding memory of a big upset? We can still get through more, lads. So mm. let's let's keep big going upset. with them. This, this um, and then after chat, this, we will yeah. have a debate on who we think is the player of the season so far. But just quick one more each. We, we've got loads in the bank, surely. Mm. Um, I've actually did a bit of a call out on my Instagram stories earlier. And a couple of answers. Tranmere 3 Everton nil at Goodison Park of someone's FA Cup memory. Got to be the final in 2006, the Gerrard strike. Um, Santi Cazorla free kick versus Hull. Immense. Could have been Wenger's last game as well. Um, and Vieira scoring the penalty against United in 05 and his last game with Arsenal was that, that kick. Um, Arsenal are, are head and shoulders really clear of, of other FA Cup winning teams. How many have you got now? Is it 14, 14 or something? 15, 14. No, wait, I think it's 15. Wait, 14. 14. I think it's 14, you know. Yeah. I think it's 14. But they're 14. head and shoulders clear of everyone else, so... You've got to respect it from Arsenal, what, but... Yeah? I think they've got 13. Because I remember I an Arsenal fan saying number 14, number 14 is on the way. Oh, okay. okay. Implying, and I thought, huh? Did they mean Henri? Yeah. <laughs> what about that crazy game? Are they saying it's 14 in the chat? Is it Man City versus Tottenham at White Hart Lane in like 04 when Macken. Do you remember Macken scored? No? Why does that name sound familiar? Macken, 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 Macken. QPR? Was it like 4 3? Was it like. That's 4 3. Should I say that again? Yeah. I, I think so I remember. Tottenham that. versus Man City FA Cup and I think Macken or someone. I think his name oh, was Oh, Spurs versus Man think, City. Macken. Yeah, Spurs, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Spurs you're talking like, about. Yeah. Like free up or free, something. They were free yeah, up. yeah, yeah. They lost 4 3. That was up there. Mate, I've seen some mad. Just the 4-4. Four, four. No, that was League Cup, though, wasn't it? When? The 4-4 four, four between us. David Bentley screaming. Oh, from no, that, 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 was, that was in the league. That yeah. was in the league. Yeah. In the league. Um, 14 FA Cups, 13 league titles for Arsenal. Yeah. 14 yeah. FA Cups. Yeah, 14 Cups. FA Cups. Uh, ah, 13 some, league get titles. Get some more FA Cup upsets in, man. We want to hear these as well. The 14, the Bamiyan upsets. must have some more. What, upsets? Yeah. yeah. I'm Mate. trying to think, yeah. Um, think of the big teams, man. Upset. How the hell did Millwall get to the 03 04 one? Because there must have been some upsets in Tim that Cahill, one. Tim Cahill, that's how they got there. Yeah. That Tim was Cahill. the break. Of, that was, that yeah. was I Inside remember that. Actually. Yeah. In that summer. How much did he cost Everton? Wow. God, I'm going to go with something like six to seven mil. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That something could be like wildly that. wrong. Yeah. To I be remember fair. going to a football manager and seeing the history and thinking. But that was decent money at the time. Though. Yeah, it was. So yeah. For someone to come from the championship to the Prem, like, yeah. that's good money. Yeah. Um, there's also thousands of millions of stories we've heard every time there is an FA Cup weekend we hear of these Lincoln. upsets what was the season Lincoln what the hell doing bits? they had the easiest run to the final Mill. <laughs> they had Walsall in the third round Telford in the fourth round Telford Burnley in the fifth round yeah. Tranmere in the quarterfinals Sunderland in the semifinals Whoa. And then United in the final. Yeah. Wow. And then they got bounced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rightly, rightly so. so. They they the rightly so, yeah. yeah. No, I thought they don't did try something. that. Don't no try wonder that. that one isn't spoken about as often. <laughs> Didn't Newcastle lose two in a row in nine to, to United? Two in a row? What, finals? In the late 90s? 99? Was that the Kevin Keegan seasons? No, this was just a touch after. It was the um, Hullet era, I think. Oh, yes. Someone. Actually, I do remember that. The well, maybe the Bobby Robson one. era. The 99, 99 one, they lost to United, which yeah. was part of their treble. Didn't Sheringham score? Yeah, Sheringham scored. Some, yeah. Someone I mentioned the other one. O Oldham Athletic beating Liverpool in 2013. Three two. Lincoln? Oh, yes, actually. 98, they lost 2-0 to Arsenal. I think we lost that game. I don't remember that. Romford Pele. Maybe we did, man. Lincoln. Um, yeah, I think. 20, you guys not remember that? 2017, Lincoln. They beat, like, like their non-league. They beat Burnley, Newcastle... Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah. And I think mm. the only team that I knocked remember. them out were, were like, well, the team that knocked them out were Arsenal, the eventual winners. Yeah. At, so um, you can hold your heads up high when that happens. Um, the Bradford one we mentioned. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone there. mentioned um, Wrexham Arsenal as well. Wrexham Arsenal. In the 90s. Not that big, I would know. Big result for Wrexham. But yeah. Massive. Um, um, that, they're saying Barnsley that's probably the greatest shot. Chelsea, 2008. Yeah, Do you remember yeah, that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Barnsley. We was away from home that day, 1 0. Yeah, that's I remember a bad, we bad lost. <gasps> was away at when, what about when Bradford beat I'm Chelsea? I'm going to name one team Burton Albion versus Man United 06. Do you remember that? Oh, wow. Wait, Burton. What, what was the score? A little look at this. The United team had Tim Howard, West Brown, Sylvester, Saha, Solskjaer, O'Shea in it. <laughs> 
So it was kind of a weakened team, but they introduced Ronaldo and Rooney later on as well. And they lost to Burton. They got no, to no, Burton. no, 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 no. They didn't lose. They, they, I they, they didn't lose. They drew. They drew. They drew. Okay. Uh, a replay. They earned a replay, basically, yeah. But it was like Burton Albion. And this isn't like Burton in the championship now. This was Burton. Yeah, this like, is. League 2. Yeah. Just we promoted. We mentioned MK Burton Dons Man United, didn't we? Yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jermaine yeah. Beckford, was it? That was Leeds, was Leeds. it? Leeds. Sorry, Burton. Leeds. That was Leeds. Leeds. Yeah. That was a huge Hereford, shot. Newcastle was like the most famous upset back in the 70s, I think. Mm. Um, Stephen is 98, Ronnie someone Radford said. Scored. Who? Stephen is 98. Okay. I'm not sure who again. Interesting. Liverpool, Wimbledon. Tramway have had a few decent runs in the early noughties, you know. Um, there's, some, look, there's a lot of old ones here. Can you not guess who the top five all-time top scorers in the FA Cup are? Top five? Good question. <sighs> top five. And, I, and, I, and I'll give you a clue. They're all names you should be pretty familiar with. FA Cup. Um, Shearer? He is in there. Ding! Mm. Go on. It's Go got on. to be an Arsenal player. Shearer's one. Yeah. So I'd say is there an Arsenal player on this list? <laughs> that they've won mm. most times. There should be. Mm. Oh, there isn't. I don't know. Henri? Oh, okay. Hell no. no. It's not Henri. No, I would, I'd be going more Ian Wright direction. Oh, hell no. Man, Lineker? Man, that man don't even touch Giroud? top 10 blood. Yeah. <laughs> Small fry blood. Don't touch top 10 blood. Mm. Couple Tottenham man in here though. Yeah. Hey, Teddy Sheringham. <laughs> Who's in there? Sheringham. Uh, Teddy Sheringham is not in there, no. Teddy okay. Sheringham's in the top 10. Teddy and my top guys five. in there. Lamps? Lampard is Lampard number is two. Yeah, yeah. He is the second Drogba? highest scorer. Gerard? Drogba, no. Uh, not Gerard. Gerard's not there. I don't Drogba's think. G -G. Drogba, the finals, no. really. Semis. Come on, guys. Drogba. Come on. Think no, he's, no, he said Drogba's not oh, there. No, no, Lampard's no, no, no. not there. So that's two. Lampard. So how many have we got? Lampard Shira, and Shira. Lampard. Sh Rooney. Ding. Rooney. Yeah, yeah. Rooney's Top. fourth. Oh, yeah. shit. Let's go back a bit. Now. I feel like it'll be some old school, Oh, man. Tottenham, Defoe. Bingo! Yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. he That's always four gets slipped. Yes, on. him yeah. and Robbie Keane every Facts. time. No one, yeah, and it's yeah, only now I just want to hold on. So, the got, so not, give us that. So at the well. moment, you've got Frank Lampard, you've got Shearer, you've got Rooney, you've got the Foe. So you've got four out of the top five. So wait, is there another one from? There top? is another Robbie one, Keane. and he's top. <laughs> That's the one you think. <laughs> the fact that you don't know this is me bewildering. Michael Owen. <laughs> Small fries like that, please, man. It's a bigger dog. Big dog. Bigger dog. <laughs> Think bigger dogs than. Is that my guy in there? There we Thank go. You. Rush. Rush. Ian Rush. Oh yeah. Oh, All okay. time. You know how many he's got? Come on, G. Forty. Wow. wow. Forty, 40 FA, FA Cup goals, and then Frank Lampard in number two wow. has twenty-seven. Wow. Yeah. So he Rush is gone. Lampard. Clear, bro. Clear. Lampard's a midfielder. That's mad. Yeah, I knew it'd be someone Lampard's, late eighties. Lampard's, Lampard's a bro. fake. This is why I say he's the best midfielder. I had a jar He's coach. the best goal scorer midfielder, Crazy. but if you want the best all round midfielder, you and I both I know think Steven Gerrard. That's a great distinction. <laughs> Thank Fair you. Enough. I but appreciate it. Don't, don't sleep on Lampard's playmaking as well, please. Just, just some of the I'm others as well. <laughs> From a defensive standpoint, though, I'll give but you that. Would you ever expected these names to sample. round off the top 10? Sergio Aguero, number six. Yeah, I would have. Yeah, yeah, Mark yeah. Hughes, number Mark seven. Hughes. Okay. Yeah. For Chelsea, well, United, Southampton. Yeah. Jackie Milburn. We always Jackie hear about Milburn. the legend of that's Jackie a, Milburn. That's a Newcastle, that's a Newcastle legend yeah, right yeah, there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> John Barnes at number eight. Come on, G. Mm. Number nine, How Teddy How many did Barnes you get? Uh, 18. See, that's not Teddy. Even Dwight, Teddy Dwight, Dwight York on there? No, no. Teddy Sheringham. Teddy and then Peter Sheringham. Crouch. At yeah, that Crouch. That makes sense. That makes sense. Crouch, yeah. Crouch, yeah. Yeah. Crouch at 11 was for the one that shot me. I was like, for Liverpool, yeah. For Liverpool, yeah. And look, he's got 18 and 44. 18 and 44. Crouch has got a good ratio, you know. 18 and 44. Yeah. That's basic. It, give or take, that's one, one or two. and two. Yeah. Give or take. Hmm. Move a couple of numbers around. You will never guess who is after Peter Crouch, though. Wait, let me guess. Is this 12? No, he actually said his name earlier as well. Robbie Keane. Jermaine Beckford. Jermaine Beckford. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> really? Wow. Number twelve. No. Jermaine but then again, Beckford. He's doing it, uh, if he's Jermaine doing it. Beckford, Harry Kane, Kalechi Iheanacho, Darren Bent, all wow. on the same. Wow. On bits in the FA Cup. <laughs> <laughs> the FA Cup is magic, but this is why you got to take in those earlier rounds yeah, as well. Yeah, you have to. Because those guys are packing them in, in second. But these men aren't playing in prelims. Yeah, these men are in quarters, semis, finals. Mm. That they're packing yeah. goals. They in. do. They do play some Don't of those. Don't tell me Jackie Milburn might have done a couple of prelims. Still. I can't lie, yeah. That's that's going to quay back. There ain't even no time frame on Jackie Wilbur as well. I like, I like them stats, man. What about all-time appearances? How about that? Ooh, let's have a look at that. Because I on. think Ashley Cole's got to be up there. If, if, he's got to be number one. 
There's, Matthias, no, there's, no, you... there's no bid for Casado, guys, in the chat, by the way. I don't know what this... Um, I don't know. Yeah, they're saying what, there's a second, second uh, bid from... from Chelsea. Well, they're saying there's a second bid from Casado. I haven't seen Fabrizio report this, so I'm not sure where yeah, they're getting this take it as gospel, yeah. I don't know where they're seeing this from. But, um, Fabrizio tell me Romano. I'm right by saying Ashley Cole has the most appearances in the FA Cup. Right. Let's tell me I'm... That's just off the bat, number one for Ashley me. Ashley Cole. In terms of appearances in the FA Cup... Mm, I can understand what she's saying that. He's won it, um, what, six times or something? Won it with Arsenal. And then the rest were with Chelsea, was it? Did he won it, he did won he it a couple of times of Arsenal. And a couple, you said times. Ashley Cole. You final or just general? Did you no, say Ashley Cole? Yeah. For number one, yeah. He don't even make the top ten. Mm. Most what are you talking about? This is, no, no, this is appearances. This is appearances this is fully. This is FA Cup appearances. Uh, appearances. Yeah, yeah. So this so is, look, Cole, has, Cole has the most finals. Finals. Appearances. Okay, finals. for appearances. Surely, though, you would have put two and two together and... and um, oh, okay, Daily Mail. Bro, it's crazy. It's, it's going to be like, oh shit, what is, is that's there the, that's, that's Oh, yeah, forget it. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so basically, all the players that scored the goals, a few of them have got to be in there. So your, your Rushes, well, Rush he's up there. there. Shearers, Rooney's. Rush is fifth. I'll Rush give is you. fifth. Rush How is many? Fifth. So I know the ballpark oh. figures. You just he scored forty. Gigs, gigs. He scored forty. So. Numero uno. Gigs. So you've yeah, got yeah, number yeah, one and number five there. Yeah. Wow. But, but how Giggs many? Uh, give us give ballpark me, numbers so, so Giggs we can has go 73. Yeah. Ian Rush has 65. Give Six, me 40 goals in 65 give games. Give me um, Joker. Gareth Barry. Oh, uh, it's not a bad shout. It's uh, not a bad shout. Uh, James Milner. Jamie Carragher. James Milner is not I like on the list. Style. You David see what James. Yeah. David <laughs> James. David James is a good shout. Yeah. David James. Just, David you know James is number. Cup, you're gonna get rested. Number twelve. I'll take David it. James. I'll take okay. It. You're gonna 12. get rested as well. So I'm not thinking of the top players. I'm thinking of the durable. This. Is what I'm this the durable that's what. Yeah. That's what you have to put appearances. Yeah. It's Duracell battery ones. The ones that don't move out of the team. Tony Adams. No. Tony Adams is not there. No worries. Um, Again, I was going for that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so, so far, Send you've got Giggs and Ian Rush. Skulls? <laughs> Phil Neville. <laughs> Gary number Neville. eight. Really? Phil number Neville, eight. number eight. <laughs> Phil Neville is number eight. Respect, Philip. Cup, please, wow. more appearances than his brother. Eight? Yeah. yeah. Late yes. Baines. That doesn't surprise me. Leighton Baines. No, they always get knocked out. Leighton yeah, yeah, Baines. Yeah. No, always knocked Leighton out. Baines. Apart from that one year, they got to There is one name that is absolutely baffling me that it's near this top 10 Ooh. list and I'm all right Mark like, Noble Scott Parkers let's get them out of the way no <laughs> I was about to say this is Scott Parker it's got to be Arsenal I, I, I'll give you I, I don't think there's two of them I don't uh, think Cam you're going to get one you should get Carlos one Carlos. is like one of your greatest <laughs> goalkeeping legends yeah, yeah. yeah. Grobola voila number three oh, who Grobola Grobola uh, Bruce Grobola uh, who's, who's Ian Callahan? Maybe you can score. Oh, legend, legend, yeah. legend. He's, he's legend. number four. He was winning it in 65. Lampard tragedy. is number two. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I I'm think surprised think you lot didn't I say didn't Lampard. Lampard okay. would. I th uh, Lampard has 68. Okay. How many did Callaghan? Callaghan's made the most appearances ever no, for No, Gall Callaghan and Grobola are both on 66. Oh, nice. Wow. Yeah. That is a lot of games. And then you've got John Barnes, number six. Alan Hansen, number seven. All Liverpool dons. Alan Hansen. Phil Neville. John Terry, Shows how dumb Michael Doyle, word, yeah. Michael Doyle, and then Stuart Downing. Really? Oh, that yeah. was the one that I was like, mm. <laughs> damn. Yeah, that's a Why is there a polar bear in Texas? <laughs> 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 Stuart Downing. That was good. Yeah, man. That's but hilarious. yeah, pretty much you're right. That's there is a lot of Liverpool legends. <laughs> but because in the 80s, it was like Liverpool Everton just shared yeah. it basically for 10 years. That's, That's why people rated <laughs> Everton at the time. Polar bear in Texas. That's a good one. I like that. I like that. Oh my god. I'm, I'm trying to find more stats about the FA Cup. I've just yeah, got into a deep rabbit hole. We've done goals. Now. We've done appearances. Let me see if I can find assists. Let me change. Mm. There's no change in the goals, by the way, guys. Yeah. We are keeping and it's about to be uh, uh, time up as well. By the way, we're it's in lucky the that we got minute. some great conversations taking place. Because if we were if we were relying on Ipswich and Burnley to give us entertainment, if we were just give you goal updates, you ain't you ain't getting many goal updates at the moment. Still no no. Come on, company man. Um, Tell you I what, think, though, I think Ipswich, Burnley are probably easy. They're probably prioritising their pr their promotion, isn't it? And they'll get Ipswich back to turf more. Can we talk about spanking. Burnley's announcements, right? By the way, their announcements for yeah, transfers cold. is unbelievable. The Wakey Wines thing, they yeah. Did. The the, yeah, the yeah. Shrek one that they and just the done. Shrek oh my goodness! I saw the Shrek one. I wish oh, there is a goal. Oh, it's the last minute. Wow! Sunderland, it's Sunderland the oh. way at Craven Cottage. Wow! wow. Sunderland could be going through. Oh is this my the against Marco Silva's Fulham? Wow! I need to verify to this. They've also just bought uh, Joel Gelhart from... Uh, yeah, I saw that on loan. Yeah, that's a good signing. Is, I'm surprised know. Leeds let him go. I know. 
Wow. But Sunderland, out of nowhere, are now two on up away at Fulham. Sunderland fans going absolutely wild in that neutral end there at Craven Cottage, which yeah. still does exist, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Been to Craven Cottage. Jesus wow. What a place, man. Great, great stadium. Go on then, give and us And they're right stuff. on the oh, river as well. I'm, I'm caught off guard by this one. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> what, are you on assist? Yeah, now oh, I'm on assist. assist. So let's look at... Full time, by the way, Bristol City 3, West Brom 0. All time Lampard's FA be up Cup there. history. Lampard's definitely there. <laughs> he, is, he is not there. He's a goal scorer, mate. <laughs> not an assist. Think he got the Luke. second most assist, though, in uh, Kenny Dalglish. Nope. No? In the same team, there is a team member. Peter Bisley? No. Rush, Barnes. Yeah. Rush Barnes is fifth. Rush. All right, Barnes. We'll take oh, Barnes. And Giggs has to be there. Giggs yeah, has to yeah, be there. Giggs surely Bizzy, must Bizzy. be there. Two out of five. Giggs must be Giggs there. Isn't Giggs, Giggs is no rarely got assists, man. These top two, yeah, are actually baffling. What era? <laughs> Tell us the era. <laughs> Ashley Young. Current era. Serious. Ashley Young. <laughs> no. No. Current era. De Bruyne. It's a good shout. Same team member. You've got the same team G member. Gundogan. Yeah, second. What? Gundogan what? Gundogan is second with nine assists in 22 games. Wow. Jeez. But then you think of That's Man City many. who do the five nils and six yeah, nils. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Foden. probably chipping in with a fair few. Them but then there's number jobs. one above him that is just killing me. I'm like, current area. Any soft clues. Is he still playing? I've He's made, still playing. I, 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 He's I've, a fullback. I've made a heel turn on this player this year. He went from being one of my favorite players to one of my... Biggest villains. Oh. Son? Correct you are. Oh my God. Wow. Correct Son. you are. Son, Son is the most Min FA Cup is the all-time most assist in FA Cup. That is really? Ten, really? A, ten assists what the, who this? Only games. 10 assists? That is... Look, you've got must, Adam, they're probably all to, all these they're all to Harry Kane. Yeah, but how can you be the all-time leading assist though? Bro, guys don't assist many in the FA Cup. They get they get their 2-3. I don't know. He, it says here, Son is at the top with 26 games... Ten assists. No one's got more than ten assists. No one in prep, in FA Cup history has more than ten assists. Am I, am I, am I, am it's probably I, from the point they actually started wrong, counting assists. Because most assists in FA Cup. That's so weird. Young okay, song. where's the old Peter Beardley, John Barnes? No, that's mad. Alexis there. Sanchez that's is eighth Sanchez. with Martial. Martial is the ninth. Ox. Martial. The Ox, the Ox no. is tenth. Ox and Sterling. Bro, I, tenth. I'm, I'm seeing dumb. names. Here. Sanchez, I get, but. Ox. Ox. Nah. Ox is there, bro. That's it's weird, bro. That's mad. Ox was part of your things, part of your things. It's Won the FA Cup with Liverpool. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mahrez is there. To be fair, Ox, Ericsson. Ox got the assist for Monreal. Um, there you go. That's when one. We, That's one of them. We, when we tied it 1-1 one, one against I mean, like, I know Sun assists Kane quite a bit, but I was like, 26 and 10. I'm like, huh. Mm. Before we come to a close as well, I'm not going to let um, AGT escape. Thoughts on tomorrow? Brighton versus Liverpool? Fourth round? Panics. I think we lose. You think you lose? I think so. Oh my goodness. You obviously can take advantage of the. I'll tell you why, because unsetting. the team. Uh, yeah, I mean, we uh, obviously Caicedo won't be playing. They've yeah. lost Trossard since we played them. Well, yeah, he'll be, he'll be there to cause some. And that's maybe why I, s I have a small hope, because he wasn't there in the 3 0 defeat. Yeah. But if you think about it logically, I mean, it's difficult to, because Caicedo won't be there. But they beat us 3 0 with. Uh, and our team was at its strongest it could have been. Yeah, I don't true. think it will be as strong tomorrow and their team will potentially be the same if not stronger. I know Caicedo won't be playing, which is a big loss for them, but I think it's it, it could be another repeat of what we saw a couple of weeks ago. You think another 3-0? No. The only beat. player that I think could cause them, because again, they've just played against Gakpo up front. They've just played against Salah, pocketed them both. The only player they haven't played against recently is Nunes, and we know he can create. Yeah. He changes score, Liverpool, do Cause it? chaos, miss, get sent off. Something will happen with him. Um, I mean, if I'm super optimistic, I'm going 2-2 Liverpool win on pens. But even still, it's not what we want. So I wouldn't go to pens. Oh, you mean uh, in the replay, or do you mean tomorrow? Or would it be another replay? Because we've just done a replay against Wolves. Oh, yeah, but yeah, Sunderland's goal wasn't given. Oh, it's finished one all at Fulham. Sunderland's oh, goal taken was away not from them. Yeah, each, each round is a replay. Oh. So if okay, you've done yeah, a replay at Wolves, you, you, yeah, you're gonna go again. But I don't want that. Yeah, you I don't, don't, you want don't that. need that at all. I don't want that. I want to win the game, but I, d I don't think we will. That's what I really wanted last peak. night. I was hoping you lot would equalise just for a yeah. replay. Nah, I did not want Just for the drama. Yeah, just give extra game. Just some extra games. Extra Why game. not? Extra, extra watch along for myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> extra 30 <laughs> quid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, should we, should we end it there then? That Netflix subscription has got to get paid, man. You see Apparently they're, they're charging <laughs> Listen, people for sharing passwords. They are, yeah. But there's some series dropping Madness. on there that I've got to watch. You coming back. 
Oh, Vikings Valhalla season two mm. just dropped. I fell asleep watching a- that. Eddie Murphy, <laughs> and, uh, Eddie Murphy and Jonas Hill are doing a doing a little movie as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna watch that. Yeah, it's called New People, isn't it? Yeah, oh, you, yeah. I'm gonna watch so that's that. That's what I'm tonight. saying. Man. Decent. Quick debate then, oh, just before good. we leave, oh, guys. Yeah. Um, this is the debate of the player of the season so far. Uh, we'll go with the Premier League. What makes the player of the season? Who are the candidates right now? And who are your picks? Um, let's go with three each. Cool. Right. Three each. Player of the season. We got for me personally. Okay. I'll go first. Haaland's obviously there. Yep. Um, Odegaard's there. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go with Nick Pope. Wow. Hold up. <laughs> I, I, I hear Nick Pope. Someone in that Newcastle defence has to be in there. Yeah, for the yeah, sake of it. Because they're in the best defence. Sven, it's him. Botman. 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 The guy that goes One of the most Top three of signings. player of the season so I far. I think the way he's playing... It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, hero, I think yeah. for me, yeah. he is the standout player in that defence. His stocks kind of fell after they were... And then he got signed on the cheap, I think. Yeah. Because his I, year I, before, the stocks... The year he, before was when I was, was saying, Liverpool Spurs, we should sign him, we yeah, should sign yeah, him, we should yeah, yeah. sign him. And they were like, ah, no, nah, he plays in the French League. I was like, AC Milan right, wanted him as well. Yeah, I remember that. AC Milan were the club who he wanted to go to, let's be honest. Yeah. And then Newcastle got him in the end mm-hmm. after haggling for about a year and a half. Mm-hmm. He's looked worth the wait. Yep. Yeah. And every, so he's every one of your penny. three. For me, he's definitely one of my three. And I think the other two you mentioned, Odegaard and Haaland, you can't deny it. Odegaard pulling all the strings, the the, the ringleader, if you like, of Arteta's men. Captain. Uh, captain. And then you look at Haaland, the goals he's scoring. It's you hard for me you to can't not deny have Saka in there, but I put Saka in for young player of the year. Share it out a bit. No, Saka's been good, bro. Nah. <laughs> I know I'm what I hate. Listen. <laughs> listen. It's, a, it's a hard one for me to pick between yeah, him and tough. Odegaard. Yeah. yeah. Saka. Saka's, Saka's been good. I think... I, I, Shaka? I'm trying to share it out. I didn't want to be biased. Zinchenko? It, Partey, <laughs> Erdegaard, Partey, no, Erdegaard, I, I, Saka. I leave Zinchenko out of it because he did miss a few t- In fact, they're my top players. three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, Harlan. I can hear Dude, that. The reason, the reason, As an Arsenal fan, how, <laughs> how many games did Partey miss? <laughs> Because that's the, do you know what? Yeah, Four. with Arsenal, that, that is the deciding factor yeah. for me. Why I'm leaving party out of this is because it's about games played. Saka starts every single game. That's yeah. a good like point. Like every game, week in, week out, he's there. He didn't have no niggling injury against Old Trafford. No, he was there. Lisandro? No, 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 no. No. It's player of the, the, player of the season, year. bro. No, no, no. no. I'm, I'm just trying to push you. But my party's been rash? great. No rush? Mm. It's a decent Ooh. show. No nah. rush. He's nah, been good. We're talking about top three. Nah, not for me. Not for me. Too Too soon. Bruno. I'll take Reich. Odegaard Saka. He's up there, you know. Bruno He's up there, again, not top three for nah, me. Nah, let me not be biased all Arsenal. Um, for me, not top three. I'll take Odegaard there. I think... You've got to have Haaland in there. Yeah, so. Haaland's got to yeah, be in there. Don't you put don't, 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 you know what? Yeah. No, no, no. Don't, you don't want to put him in there because like, as a player... I like, agree. You know what I mean? He, kind yes. of, he can be ugly at he's, times. He's, man, he's the cherry lie. on top of the cake every single time. And it's like, yo, can we talk about the actual cake? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. No, you have to put... He's, he has to be he's making history this season. Yeah, he so, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, I'll put him in there as well. And oh. I feel like you've got to have a good one new castle oh. guy. In there, you know? you gotta, that's why I put yeah. Pope in. Yeah, they're overachieving because so mad. Because 10 like, sheets in a row, that's no bro, joke. They have the best defence. Do you not think it's just... I'm trying to pick whether Pope or is it Dan Byrne, the left back? It's the defence in front of him. What about Casemiro? Yeah, that's why he's been good, but yeah. not player this season. Because if, if you take Pope and put him in a worse defense, that you take that structure mm, off. Yeah. What, what, what's, what's I don't know. I feel I like know. I feel like you discredit the defense when you give it to Pope. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, why I'm thinking like that's a, for me. Like a and I look at that defense and I'm like, bro, who is the standout player? He's, Botman. It, the last seventeen shots. But also, shots Burn, he's bro, Burn he's is playing left back. Pope. Come on, Burn is just. Do you know what Burn is? He's having a. Is he having a much better season? He's having a season of his life. Is he having a much better season than a Ramsdale though? Because Ramsdale's been brilliant this yeah. season. Pope, well. I would say, is having a better season than Ramsdale, yeah. Is there In, a, individually. Yeah, is there a massive difference? I'd agree with that. There's not a massive I'd agree difference. With that. No. I don't think Ramsdale's even at the level he was last year, in my opinion. No, Ramsdale's been good. He's this not really season. been Ramsdale's tested good. too tough. Though. No, but the thing is with Ramsdale, what I'm more impressed Ramsdale's with is the fact good. that he's not being tested. But when, he, when he's when called he is, upon... He's concentrating. He's Ramsdale's dead. been good. Yeah, yeah it's a different... Let's try and... I mean, I'll go with United. Can we chuck in Rashford? And have we got a case for Rashford or Casemiro to be named Casemiro in the top three players there's of the season for Rashford. so far? One hundred percent, there's a case for Rashford. I think Casemiro similarly has missed too many games. He missed a couple missed games, the first yeah, couple yeah. games early on. Missed yeah. a big one versus Man United, where you know the was party, Rashford lighting up the party from the showdown. No, uh, I don't no, think it was. That's first couple of games. There, yeah. No, then as soon as the light hit, there was no looking back type of thing. So mm. I feel like he's one of them players that as the season's going on, he's getting better and better. Who? Rashford. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so like by so the end of the season, should we all come to a, a joined yeah, three Jesus. then? Harland, yeah. I think is Harland. unanimous. Let's all just 
Harlan's in. Harlan's yeah, in. Whether yeah, we like in. it or not. Odegaard? No, no, no. Unanimous. I like the fact that Harlan's in. He's yeah, in. He's yeah. in. Odegaard. 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 Ridiculously, Odegaard just Odegaard's there everything. as well. Bro. You know what it is? It's he is. I knew Saka well. had goals and assists. I didn't know Odegaard had this yeah, amount of goals yeah, and assists yeah. in him. So, so I'm like, I've seen a he gets bigger growth in, in Odegaard's game than I have in Saka's game. Not to say that I haven't seen it in Saka as well. Part. Yeah. yeah. So and then the Odegaard third one, I think Odegaard, Odegaard Erdegood. Yeah, Botman for me. And then, yeah, Botman, I, I'm Botman. going for the third one. Yeah. Really? Nah, right, I'm, going I'm, Pope. I'm going Burn or Pope <laughs> over Botman. I can't pick a seven foot left back. I'm sorry. That guy should be in the <laughs> that's NBA. That's why he should be playing. He should be posting up in the paint. But that's why he the should Grizzlies. be. Why is he not, why is he <laughs> not a <laughs> centre back? He's like a seven foot left back. Why is he and not in the middle? And he's shutting down Bukayo Saka. No, Come on. man. I'm Come going on. with a middle man. Yeah, but it works, though. It does work. It does work. It's so weird. It works at Brighton as well. Come in the inside. Meet my friend Sven. Come on the outside. Is Dan Burn with the, the one with the dodgy finger as well? Like he's got a He's got no finger here. Yeah, Dan Burn. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dan, yeah, Dan Burn's got a missing finger. So he's like the Simpsons. So he's like the Simpsons. So he's like the Simpsons. Burn's throwing up gang signs. <laughs> yeah, <as well>. the <laughs> Simpsons. <yeah. laughs> wow. No, um, hold tight, Dan. He used to play at Yeovil. Up, I've seen him play at Yeovil before. Really? I, I think he was that's a centre back. That's one of the signs of. Did they sign him in last what? In the same team at Yeovil, I saw Luke Kaling at Brighton. Oh, the lead guy. Oh, wow. That's I another. Saw, bit I saw of, some <laughs> stuff. That's another you bit of Brighton recruitment there, though. Trippier was injured as well, so that's why I'm taking him up. That's another bit of Brighton yeah, recruitment. Brighton, that, that yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, Brighton actually build them right for for business. They don't just mm. mug you off like, unless it's pursuing. No, they they look after you in no, the no, deal. No, no, even that. They make sure all parties are satisfied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. They, they make sure they, they look um, after you. So what? <laughs> Before we finish this off, right? We've got our two. I'm sorry. Shout out to Sven Botman each and every time. You got two here, but so it can't be outnumbered. What, exactly. What, so what, you got, what are you saying? saying? <laughs> you disagree because yeah. you said Pope and Save. you said um, Burn. Burn. So actually, so we, Botman we actually gets in. No, 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 no. We win. No, no, no. Hold. Pope. All right, let me let me run a poll. All right. Yo, let's run a poll. Give it to Pope. Yo, can we run a poll in the? He's been great. Let's run a poll. Hi. Can we? <laughs> Bruno says he's the be- Bruno Grimaldo says he's the bro. best keeper in the world. Can we run a poll? Right? Pope Redman versus here. Botman he, he, for player for player of the year contender from Newcastle. Pope versus Botman. Yeah, we need a What's poll. What's Matty production? production. It'll be it'll be saying, "Oh, it's got to be Nick Poor." Nah. Unbelievable nah. this season. Botman yeah. like different glass. Oh, yeah, what's 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 uh, Matty up to right now? You can give him a ring. Yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> He's been a deciding for us. Yeah, I want this settled now. That's a great idea. I want this settled like now. Come on. Hey, Ring come him. On. Like, He's probably watching seven this. Seven foot left back, you know. But I'll give it to Pope. No, but bro, that's like, you know, there's sick basketball players that are under six foot. That's true. What does that mean? Yeah. yeah. Height, height, height isn't great. always the answer, you know. He's been great. Shout out to Lissandro. <laughs> Come on, Matty, Come pick on, up, Matty, son. Man, we need He's you. The one good. time I need him. <laughs> Matty, we need you, mate. Here he is, hey, son. Matty, oh, yeah, hey. son. He's in Come the pub. Come on, Matty. Come on, Matty. <laughs> He's in the, mate, I've, I've got a very important question for you, bro. <laughs> so right now we're doing our um, debate of the player of the season, yeah? And right now we've gone for three names. We've gone for Odegaard there. We've got Haaland there as well. The third name, we can't pick between Nick Pope and Sven Botman. So who is it? We're giving you one free shot here. Nick Pope. Nick Pope! Ah! <laughs> I told you. I told you. I told tomato, you, tomato, man. tomato. I told you, boy. So, I told you he'd say Nick Pope. Yeah, wow. I told you. They said, what's Matty going to say? And I was like, he'll say Nick Pope. <laughs> Nick where, Pope. Where, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need us shouting big up go on then bro listen have a good one and we'll see you soon man enjoy that go. drink <laughs> up the mugs up, up, up the mugs son. <laughs> there you go Nick that's Port, the deciding Nick vote Nick told you fair play I know fair my play. guy Matty man I can't fair read play. his mind fair play. And that's how we end the show that is how we end the show massive Indeed. show today the FA Cup special just to remind Nick you of the full time scores Bristol City 3 West Brom 0 an upset I would say Ipswich nil, Burnley nil, replay. Southampton two, Blackpool one, not an upset. Fulham one, Sunderland one, replay. Luton two, Grimsby two, replay. And of course, we've got Preston, Tottenham later on tonight. And then, of course, Manchester United, Reading at eight. I've been AGT. Uh, this has been my friend Fuad. Thank you very much, my G. Mm-hmm. As well. Pleasure. Matisse, as always. Pleasure. Cheers,
Uh, my favourite twin, actually. <laughs> Everybody says that. The more I see yeah, it, I love it. The, the more <laughs> I'm like it. Cheers, man. And I hope hey. your, your girlfriend's um, dinner situation gets better. No, sorted. wife, yeah, man. Wife. I'm actually stressing for you on that front. Yeah. Wife, Long. yeah. Actually, we'll let you go and sort that out. Uh, <laughs> nah, nah. i got time. Man. All right, fair enough. We'll go to the pub then. Um, massive shout out to everyone at home for watching. You've been brilliant as always with your super chats, with your comments. Thank you so much. And again, we'll see you next week. Take care. See you guys.